Maybe it won't. it's not. It's not a chicken walker, which is the worst part. It looks like a chicken walker when you actually look at it. It's not. Like... There's achievements on roll twenty. What? Oh. Where? Oh yeah, look at this yeah, that's boy. That's not a chicken walker. Those are, those are where your human legs are just tilted to the backward, to the back. Where? And the worst part is those knees bend both ways. It looks like it's got a big old blimp sticking out of it. Dude, Isaiah has 2,291 hours played in fucking Roll20. What the fuck? I only have like... You, what the Ryan, fuck? You don't understand the hours I have, right? I have a lot. I can look. Wait, let me see. You just gotta uh, sit there and do nothing. For yeah, years. that's usually what ends up. You have 1,844. What the fuck? Wait, who? I learned... Oh, Will. Will does. He I has got 354. Damn. How do I check? You have, uh, I can tell you what yours is. You have a thousand one hundred fifty-four. Really? No, that's Brandon. Brandon oh. has a thousand one hundred fifty-four. Oh, that is a surprise. Chase, you have Chase. You only have three hundred forty-one. Why do you have the least out of everybody? I have like six hundred and fifty. <laughs> How do you have the least? I don't understand. Probably because I leave. I have more than Crystal, five hundred forty. But like, I don't fucking. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's because I leave. Yeah, maybe it's because I never closed the tab. <laughs> Damn, that's that sucks. I wish it would just only count like game time. Mm, like, yeah, when you're on the Yeah, but how, how's, yeah, how's it gonna oh. tell game time? Wait, all right, like, if you're, you're idle, like... like that's literally like every single thing. You yeah, but you could be idle right. like reading a module or something. Ryan, I made one eighth of the fall campaign, all right, and I'm pretty sure that took me like a hundred hours. Right. Well, you still haven't finished your other campaign yet. <laughs> you got Wait, one fucking, battle left. Fucking, no, it's one battle and then the boss. That's what it is. What? Wait, I have an achievement that <laughs> says I've made over 5,000 rolls on roll 20. What the? Wait, how do I check my achievements? achievements? I don't know. I'm on my, uh, I'm on my, my uh, account. I'm like, my profile. Oh, I can probably see it on yours. On. Let's see. My profile. Oh my god, I've got so many achievements. You also have over 5,000 oh. rolls. I've got so many achievements. What is this one? It says, never any story. Ran a game lasting for over six months. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, I bet Will has that yeah, achievement. Will, Will should <laughs> Will better have that achievement. That's right, I've got an achievement. None of y'all probably have the patron of the arts. Purchase a pack from the marketplace. Oh, you fucking yeah, simp. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to buy anything. Yeah, actually played on roll twenty for three consecutive days. Run a game, play with five different people. Sounds like you've done all okay, those. So there's days. one, two, and three rooms. How do you look at your stats? I want to see how many total rolls I've made. Well, well, they don't they don't do total stats. You got to count that by hand. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Storage quota. Mm -hmm. I have 62 megabytes out of 100 in the last time. Mm. <laughs> Does anybody know any good uh, uh, PSP games? Uh, let's see, there's Armored Core 2, Armored Core 2 Another Age, Armored Core 3, Armored Core 3 Silent Light, Armored Core well. Nexus, Armored Core Last Raven, Armored Core 4 Rain of Flood, uh, Armored Core 9 Breaker. There's also um, Ace Combat 4, Ooh. 5, and 0. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, yeah. Shit. I mean, there's time splitters, but that emulates like shit on the PS2, so it emulates that on Dolphin. Uh, uh, ATV quad power racing. Um... <laughs> Here you go, Chase, your favorite, your favorite kind of video game. PSP emulators, <laughs> right? Yeah, he's talking about Dolphin. See, I don't fucking know, because every, every PS2 game I play apparently has a better version on a fucking GameCube, so it's like, whatever. Yeah, just get the GameCube, just... Get the GameCube version. Yeah, get the GameCube emulator so you can play time switch with mouse and keyboard controls. I play on PP SSPP. I play time. I play time switchers on my GameCube. <laughs> I, I remember having fun. I'm ready to summon yeah. you guys. Are I've, yeah, I've, this, fucking... this stream's going been going for like 15 minutes. Oh wait, you know, THQ owns the time switch license now. That's the reason there hasn't been another game. Because when's the last time you heard about THQ doing anything? Like... I mean, they died and then they came back, so yeah. <laughs> this is funny, they die and they just come back out of nowhere. <laughs> Who owns them, Blizzard? Not much longer. Yeah, Blizzard's just straight up just gonna die, because, like, fucking. That's what happens when you're hard at <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't You can't have any sexual assaults, as everyone over there was just a fucking virgin. 
true. You know, you have a point. It's like, just hire men. No, they're right there for it. There can't be any sexualists. <laughs> Will, this is, this, you know, I like this forward thinking idea. This is, this is progressive. Just hire women, and there will be too much sexual assault. Yeah, there's going to be there's going to be a sexual assault. So no, can't stop, so just on the safe side, just I, only I, Iron Man. I looked up who owns the Time Star license. Cock Media. Cock Media. Oh. Who? That's that's just who we needed. God. The wow. hero. Good. Thanks. The Avatar. Thanks, Cock Media. <laughs> the Avatar. Cock Media. <laughs> <laughs> vanished. <laughs> yeah, but when the world needed him most, Cock Media vanished. It's time to split. <laughs> Ew. I mean, All right, are you guys yeah. ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Everyone's actually here. I guess. I mean. Oh, you know Is what? Crystal not here? I was wondering why. Uh, Crystal's not here. Looks like we can talk about other shit. Looks like we can talk about being rude to women again. <laughs> Thank God. Like how disgusting women are. <laughs> Thank God, I wanted to do that for so long. What was it, the He-Man, the He-Man cartoon? It was like, the women take over and they lose the castle, the ca castle grace calls like, yep. Ah, <laughs> I, bl I blame him. I was thinking, Thank you, ah. for telling me how good women are. All right, before we, before Will gets off on another women hating tangent, which he's known to do, on the last episode. Our lovable troop got to look forward to the meeting their favorite person ever, the Empress. The nice, wholesome, 100 super pogger Empress of the Elves. And after being awoken by some guards knocking on the door, waiting patiently to escort our esteemed guests, they could only think of one thing. What the fuck were they going to wear? Going upstairs, our troop converged on the one place that they knew that would be filled with snazzy attire, Farin's room. More specifically, his closet. Barging in, they slide the door open to see and to see, unsurprisingly, a bunch of formal attire in the form of suits. All of the outfits being different shades of black, along with uh, wildly varying sizes. Ori, seeing that none could possibly fit him, decided to go and check the attic, where Farin had uh, has been storing a bunch of the stuff from his younger years. The rest of the Spruce troop decide to dress up and look quite dapper. Jonesy, not one to look like everyone else though, makes a magic tux that covers over his entire skin, made of made of a sleek all white fabric. Faye puts on one of foreign suits. It's a bit tight, but she manages to squeeze in. And Nugget, well, Nugget found an ascot and a gardener's hat. And, or and as Ori came down from the attic steps to show off his suit that he was that he, oh that he had now specifically cut and fit to his body. Uh, they knew that they were ready to start their day. Oh, and also, uh, they gave BB a hat. <laughs> but she took off. Well, I had to mention- I died. Well, I had to- I had, Well, I had to- I had to mention that you at least gave him a hat. It was important for the fashion. Uh, making their way over to the guild- The- a guild hall. They soon meet with the not Krungle Empress. The Empress holds up, uh, her end and promises- the dress up troop per time, and they begin asking questions, learning that the people who came to take the hand away were an army that was made by the conglomerate themselves, an army that would protect them and the people from the situations that were better off left that were better left unmentioned to the the overall populace. Also handing them all these key uh, also handing them all these keychains that she tells them is the past to enter the all the elven areas that she's in rule over, or at least if they are shown to the elven people, they won't try and fight you. Uh, which they appreciate until she tells them about how much of their money that she so humbly kept for herself. Jonesy curious about whether or not she put any thought into the whole, you know, necromancy thing, and unsurprisingly, well, she did it. The Empress couldn't be any more far past fuck to care about what happens to the people as long as they aren't her elves. And so she was she was also not going to propose it in such a time where the dwarven people were in dire straits, seeing it as a way to have the other people of the conglomerate think that she is up to something illegal. It is better left unsaid, but if he could convince other members to bring up the proposition, then, well, she doesn't might care, so she'd go along with it. And before our troop can ask 
Uh, and before our troop can ask more, she cuts him off, mentioning how she saw their one dwarven fan, Aginar, in the upper district, standing guard with some others while the queen was out and about. Uh, which our joyful troop love to hear, seeing as Aginar is their absolute favorite person ever. The Empress says that she will talk to the bitch as well, uh, not that she really needs to, about coming to see all of you. Knowing the Queen though, she wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to meet the individuals who took down the Dissolver, telling the troop to stay in town and that they will get their answers soon. Then shooting them out the door as quick as they, oh as quick as she can, as her time was precious and they already had already taken much more than what she would have liked. And so the sun moves overhead. Uh, the sun loses over our head for our chic heroes, Crystal, uh, or Felaris, the Dragonborn Cleric, Nugget, the Earth Genasi Barbarian, Ori, the Gold Cobalt Artificer, BB, the Warforged Monk, and Jones, Jasper, Tatabaxi Wizard. I gotta turn this down. The Tabaxi Bard. That Tabaxi, Tabaxi, not Necromancer Bard. Yes. As, as, as he is more, as he is more properly known. So you all are, you, uh, I believe where we left off is literally like right when she kicked you out of her office. Like right when she said, fucking leave yeah. my site. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm done talking to all of you. Your, your only goal right now is to, uh, stay, uh, just stay in town. At least for, uh, the next current day until, uh, either she gets back to you, which you know that she will. Either one of the... Uh, her elven guards will will find you, or the people, or one of the guards in the city will relay any information that is needed. So as long as you stay in the city, you are uh, free to do as you wish. Let's leave. Yeah, leave the city. <laughs> you absolutely can't. Why does she need uh, us in the city again? Uh, because uh, she's gonna go talk to the queen about uh, getting you all uh, an audience with her. Oh. Yeah, but then we're gonna have to meet Naganar, so I'd rather leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanna be Aganar. He's your favorite boy, though. I said it in the intro, so it has to be true. No. I don't think so. Uh, so right now, you you all are are standing outside. Uh, the guards uh have that were that were posted up are now like standing in front of the door to like make sure that. Nobody else can get in. Uh, the the hustle and, and bustle of the of the guild is is very much so died down. You can see uh like up from the second floor as you guys just like are kicked out. And you can like look over the little balcony. Um, there it's there's almost no members of like the actual populace in the guild currently, mainly for the fact that uh it's swarming with guards and. Most of the most of the people know why, and the people that don't know why don't want to find out. Most people just don't want to talk, don't want to uh, uh, like attract the ire of the empress. So the the ones that are smart enough to stay away know to stay away, and the ones that don't know enough don't want to mess with the guards for whatever reason. And you all are uh be being watched, uh just like very, uh you all are being watched very closely by some of the other guards. Again, they. They, they have been instructed just not to trust anyone. Go talk to the lady at the front desk. They probably have some new quests because they said that they didn't want to give out quests until the Dissolver was gone. Yeah. He's gone now, now. Now the Dissolver is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they owe us money still, remember? Well, uh, you all, you, you already, you've already been paid. The Empress gave you. Yeah, we already got the money. No, from whenever we went on the farm, we killed those bugs, and then that fucking guy that disappeared, was, and we never was, got our fucking money for doing that. Yeah, that was a that, that was, was a us. that was a personal request, and as they have stated, personal requests that have not been officially ran through the guild. Uh, it was not. we got it from the guild, so I still say the guild owes us something. What's that one guy in the guild? We gotta find that guy. That quests, one guy. That one guy quests, that shares the name with everyone. Quests, quests that not have have not been officially documented in the guild are not are not of the guild's concern. A guild personnel offered us this quest. Therefore, Ooh, I'm suing the guild, was, and we're going to court. Documented. I wrote it down on this piece of paper, <laughs> therefore documentation has been and, filed. And they wrote on their own piece of paper, this quest was never filed. And 
you know. Well, then it's their word versus mine, and we have and, and we have <laughs> the farm. Yeah, let's go to court now. Dude, gotta court go, case. Gotta go all the way to the fucking court now. I think it's the Supreme Court. That's how we'll get our audience with the queen. Mm. She'll be the one to yeah. To she'll go. be the, she'll be the one to pass judgment as to who's uh. Who's what? You right, don't understand, yeah. Your Majesty. They owe us like a hundred gold. <laughs> they, they owe us like they owe us like fifty gold, Your Majesty. Please. It was like fifty gold. This, yeah. This bit. This dude. This this fucking man. This white boy. Whoa. Oh. Didn't pay us fifty gold. You know, I say if we, if we can't find him again, we just go back to his shit shack house and we just take it. Uh, shit, shit, shit. you are, uh, and yeah, you you all um, you all you all walked down the stairs again, it, it dressed extremely well, and uh, you, you're getting of some course. you're getting looks from some of the guards, and like not not looks of like what's going on, just looks of like damn, those are some fucking snazzy people, like uh, very very like hey, like you know what to wear. Yeah, you, uh, with my ascot and, and gardener's hat. I remember yeah. they're bright orange. Well, and that's the reason that's the reason they're looking over. They see this what, they what see color, this vibrant what color orange. is my ascot? What color is your ass? What? Yeah, what color is your ass? Bright orange. Bright orange. <laughs> and you, 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 what's my ascot though? Just bright, bright orange. orange. Just sad. <laughs> okay. Fucking bright orange chase. Alright, well, let's go to the desk and ask them. And you walk up, you walk up to the desk, and uh, Dean is there, and she looks, um, she she looks a little stressed. And you, that's you, fine. Okay. Any quests? Walk up to the desk, and she's like, "Uh, uh, hello, uh, welcome. Uh, did you? Uh, I see that you're all well dressed. If you, did you all have a audience with the Empress? And then she she kind of like looks around, and she, she's not trying to say anything like mean about her. Because there's guards everywhere. She doesn't know how they'll, how they'll react. Old lady stole half of our money. Oh, uh, yeah, she... Uh, uh, foreign came down and uh, asked for it, and I, I heard a bunch of screaming coming from upstairs, like, uh, about 30 minutes ago. So, it doesn't... doesn't does, uh, yeah. Having her in the... Having her in the, the guild halls has just been a... It's been a rough couple of weeks. <laughs> she should hopefully be gone soon. Oh, God, gosh, I hope so. If I, I don't think I've ever met someone with like such an interesting personality. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm telling the guards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, please. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I really have been enjoying her time. Uh, uh, really, really, really. I'm shocked that you are, because I'm not. Uh, are there any quests? Uh, uh, and she, she, like, looks around. She's the only one that's, like, on... That, that's actually on duty today. Usually it's either two Dinas, a Dina, a David, or a David and a David. But right now, it's, ju it's just her. And she, she, like, looks around. And she's like, uh... Just Dina. We've been, I've been booked with many cards, and not many people have actually. We we do have some of the the uh, the, the only quest that someone is brave enough to actually come in, even without the guards and re request to post it is a. Uh, I don't I don't know if you all much prefer. Uh, are, how how knowledgeable are, are all of you on plants and herb picking? And she like she she goes over and she like she takes a uh, quite a hefty stack. From uh, uh, she takes quite a hefty stack from like the papers and then brings it over to the desk and she's like, uh, "This is uh, what they came in." And she, uh, the woman, I don't remember her name. Uh, and she like she scans the paper. Uh, but but who wrote this? Matilda. I think that's what that's supposed to say. Uh. Uh, Miss Matilda came in, and had, uh, she's looking for, it says right here, uh, looking for Ryath roots, she's looking for Tahiki roots, wild roots, will-o'-wisps, uh, the, 
Not only Will-O-Wisp, she's also looking for Will-O-Wisp ectoplasm and stalks, Navoa, Balm Shrubs, uh, Balmar, um... These are all plants? Yeah, black kettle leaves. And, and the most surprising thing Will-O-Wisps is... aren't plants. Well, I, I... Well, it was all filed under the same... Out of the same herb picking category, so I'm just reading off all, all the things that are right here. Um, is is willow wisp a herb? Uh, willow wisp is not an herb. Well, well, it depends. Willow wisp ectoplasm actually is an herb. It's uh, it's it's what it's what uh, the potion makers uh, up in the Hydra used to make uh, potions of invisibility. So this Matilda's uh, a potion maker. Yes. Um. What What's the reward for getting all these? Oh, it's 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 paid for root, and she's offering quite a quite a high sum, especially because some of these, especially the the Willowis ectoplasm and the Willowis stocks, are are extremely rare and not not very common, at least uh, not around here in the Nars Briar. Um. Uh, the 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 Ryath root, which um anywhere uh, anywhere like in the farmlands you could you could find some Ryath root. She's paying a a, a fifty uh, right here. Where does it say? Ah uh, yes, uh, right here. Uh, she's paying fifty GP per bushel of the uncommon Ryath root. Um, uh, the Tahiki root. Uh, this is the most common, and actually it's it's grown around here. In Lunar's Bar, you could go and buy it at shop, so I don't know why she would need so much of it. It's 30 GP per bushel of Tahiki Root. Um, invisibility, uh, for either for uh, the will o -Wisp ectoplasm or the stalks themselves, is 400 GP per stock, or... or and that's a mighty grant for such I a want, simple plant. Uh, I want to make sure GP, this gold we're talking about, this is, doesn't. it's not something short for... Good boy points or something. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. What... <laughs> and she she giggles at that. I don't know what good boy points are, <laughs> but that's funny. Yes, uh, gold pieces. Uh, Navoa. Um, Navoa is an, an interesting plant, actually. Um, I I've I've done a, a bunch of research on it. It 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 grows. Um. It grows right, right where the land meets the underground, and like when when daylight very sprinkles upon it, only so often. And it, it, uh, th that th it's probably my most favorite. I, I, I own one of the plants at home, and it's beautiful to look at. It's got, it's got a nice rainbowy hue to it, and uh, apparently, if you make it into a potion, it gives you, uh, this right here. It, alter, it bolsters confidence and gives you the ability to. Do as you please is what it says here. I think uh, if if you want the the actual description of it, uh, the the Navoa, if you make it into a if you make it into a potion gives you a plus two on all, on all saving throws for two hours. Damn. I was gonna I was just gonna joke with her and be like, where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna ask that <laughs> to go steal her her plan. Don't, don't do that. Come uh. on. No, that I, I follow uh, her back from work. And uh, <laughs> how much is that one worth? Uh, we could use that to buy more wood to build our boat. <laughs> um, uh, that that is that is uh description. Blah, 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 blah. Um, that is that is a thousand GP per bouquet. What oh, shit? It, it's, what? It's That's as much as we got paid for killing the dissolver. What the fuck? Well, it's only a thousand. You got put, well, technically, yeah. What the it, fuck? It, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous, right. it's a gorgeous. Uh, the ball, the the uh, balmy, the balm shrub. I, I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's rare black. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's, uh, imagine like a shrub that's all black, but it's got uh, red leaves growing out the side of it. It's got circles, paint, like almost like they're painted on it. Uh, this one it says, uh, forty GP per shrubbery. And then B Balmar, uh, B Balmar, it it says uh, can be discussed in person on price. I don't. 
I don't know what that one means. Usually, usually we that we're given a price for for everything, but there is a quite an extensive list here, so it doesn't surprise me that she didn't want to just go and list everything down. She already wrote so much here, as you can tell. And there, there's like a good like seven, uh, like seven fully written like essays front and back on it on my desk that she's reading through very quickly. Maybe it's just too uncommon of a cash to get so much. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh shit! I said that wrong. It's, it's it sounds like it's too much of a cash. Uh, probably means too much cash. Mm. It, well, I mean, it's, I, it's she... two different caches, but Let's just... all right. Well, well, where's this Matilda lady? Uh, I I don't believe her shop is down here in the. In the mezzo, most people that work with uh, potions, especially ones where with the ingredients that she's asking, um, but last I saw, she I did see her walking around the, the mezzo a little while ago, walking into like uh, uh, the old man's shop. I can't remember his name, who also sells like a bunch of just like knickknacks. He also sells like uh, homemade potions that that he and his son make. Um, uh, the the wood the woodsmith. If you've been to him, I. She, she did go on a very we bought, extensive we bought all talk. his wood uh, uh, I, she did go on very extensively talking about how he had this like brand new idea for like uh, uh, something that has two wheels and you like stand on it and it's got a big stick that you we hold have to, I'm gonna whisper to Jonesy we have to kill her she's learning is, is she's this a bicycle? stealing our ideas <laughs> no, it's a stick where you have to hold that's stupid is it, is it supposed to be a she, bicycle she was calling it a, I think it's supposed to be a scooter calling it a sc um, scooter that sounds dumb yeah I it, she, why would you need it'll, a it'll stick never to hold on <laughs> Jones, we gotta patent that that name, that name sounds uh, mute to be a machine meant to scoot <laughs> why do you remember it to rhyme Thank you, Chase. Yeah. Does he still have I, to rhyme? I thought I he was do. done. I have to, for the rest of today. For the rest of today. Um, and so she, she's, and so she just looks at you. And says, well, uh, she's paying quite a quite a hefty fine, and uh, I, I don't, I'm. This isn't a quest that I, I assume we, we would give out. I, you can't if you just bring her the, uh, uh, the the plants, um, or bring them here, and we could we could uh, call her down and. And work out the. All right, sounds like a plan. Can I have a list of these plants, please? Sure. Uh, and then she 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 goes over to like one of the desks and she starts writing raya root, tahiki root, willow wisp, ectoplasm. And I'm going to. Stalks. I'm going to use my researcher background to figure out where to find these plants. Okay. My botany skills us. to the library. <laughs> you, you would note that you could find the names of these plants in books in a library. For the library. Kill. What's your library use? <laughs> your library use, though. <laughs> what would that? What would I roll for that? <laughs> uh, roll history. Do you remember where the library was? Oh no! Remember where it was? You forgot already. Forgot where the it's library was. You seconds. went there to. You went, oh my! He, you went there to literally. <laughs> it go was somewhere in cure. the mezzo. You went there to learn how to go cure petrification. I was gonna say, can't we just go to the go to Farin's library? Doesn't Farin know where his well, li Half his library is erotic it's, porno. Yeah, it's erotic. And it's uh, erotic smut. Chase is a, a lot of his library. I doubt that he has a book on flowers. He, well, he might have a book on flowers, but you don't know. You never know. You don't know. Uh, you could go and check, but you don't know if he'd have one for like Tahiki and Balmar or Navoa. I doubt that. He, I don't think that he's a botanist. So I'm getting... what about Faye? She knows a lot about uh, nature. And Ask stuff. her. Oh. Right there. Does Faye? she? I don't think she does. She's she's really good at survival, <laughs> but survival isn't the same thing as nature. Mm. Ask her survival in character is, though. Can... Let's see how Faye responds in character though, Ryan. Faye, do you know where to find all that? Hey, <laughs> Faye. What do you know about flowers? Plants are plants, aren't they? Good answer. We're they all are. going. We're all going to the library, oh, and we're no. gonna learn something. None That's of, it. None of you're gonna go look for Matilda. She said she's here in the mezzo looking for. Yeah, but they said that we could just bring the flowers to. We could bring the flowers here, and you they'll can. call Matilda. You can. Like I don't think Matilda's gonna tell us much more about these flowers. Okay, makes sense. You guys, 
is I want to fucking have a group library. Wait, group wait, library wait. Session. No, no, no. What's that? What was that reality TV game? Hush, like hush. The library one where you have to. Oh yeah, the one where you're in the. Yeah, the one where you're in the, li yeah, the, you're in the library, library. What's it called? Be quiet. I think it is hush. It's it called. It might be called hush. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. I'm the, sorry. The, wait, the what? Dudes that are like trying to stick. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. I don't know what it's called. Uh, called Silent Library. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so we don't we don't know where the library is. No, yet? no, no, no. no Ori knows. Or Ori's or Ori's he researcher background know. knows where all the he knows where he knows where libraries are. He can smell them. He can smell the books to get learnt. Smell the knowledge. Nerd. Yeah, and you all are again escorted out. There has been guards following you. But as soon as you leave the uh, the, the guild property, um, uh, you know, roll me, roll me a, roll me a, roll me a perception check. This is for 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 hearing. Roll listen. Yeah, roll listen. <laughs> yeah, roll listen. There's perception there. Oh hell yeah. Perception. Are the sanctuary a book? <laughs> I like that one. Uh, that was a good one. That was that was a nice one. Uh, yeah, can't believe you're not gonna go rhyme to tear. You're gonna go spend your time in the fucking library. Oh no, and wait! Like a nerd. I don't. Uh, this is like the morning, right? It's 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 like it's getting to like midday. I thought. It was still pretty early. In the uh, day. Actually, then I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go later in the day. Okay. I want to go. I want to go in the afternoon. It, it's like Tanner. it's like getting to the afternoon. It's not there yet. It's like yeah, I'd say it's like ten or two, like getting close to eleven. Enough time to go yeah, to but the like, library. Yeah, but like if I'm gonna get a steak, I'm gonna get it in like the later in the day. Mm, okay. He's gonna get it for dinner. For dinner. Because then it'll be it'll be more well done later in the day. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, or you said time to settle in the coals. Yeah, uh, become one with the coals. Or you, you and uh, you you and you and Jonesy hear this uh, coming coming up from the the second floor. Uh, you can hear the Empress yelling at Farin. And, and, well, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, you can you can hear you can just hear it being like, "You're useless, fucking cunt! Why do we even hire yeah. people like you?" Ugh! Yeah, that's not nice. You can hear. You can hear being very irate. Can't believe someone would say something mean to far and to our. It's crazy. And then, and then you hear like, uh, you hear something like, you hear something very heavy, get like dropped to the floor. My ass senses are tingling. She fucking body slammed him. <laughs> Jesus. She's fucking. Body She's so slamming. powerful. <laughs> She's very strong. He's, she's very strong. She might not look it. Nuggets ass yeah. since they're tingling. He's like, ah! Yeah, you, you could <laughs> Do just we hear any screams. Uh, no, no. You just it, like. Uh, Do we hear any bones cracking? You know what? Roll me, roll me, roll me, <laughs> roll me medicine. Medicine. <laughs> Listen to the uh, bones. <laughs> uh, oh no! Uh, you're like you don't know. You don't know what that sound could have been. If it was a person, you don't know. Maybe they could have broken every single bone in their body. For all you know, they could be a fucking. They could be. They could be goop now. For us. For all you know. You have no idea. But you don't, but the, the, but, uh, like, after, after you hear that and there's, like, the big thump, the, uh, it, it is quiet. I get, none of the, none of the guards, like, they don't, they don't seem perturbed by this. This seems like it's not an uncommon thing to happen here with the Empress, like, being very abusive. It's not uncommon that the Empress beats the shit out of people. She is a fucking asshole. <laughs> they've just, they've, they've gotten used to it. Uh, and, and you, you leave and you walk around, uh, if anybody has anything else to do while you're walking in the library, again, you are passing by the bar and, and the, uh, passing by the, the main squeeze, the brothel. The main squeeze. Yeah, the main squeeze where Ed, Ed, and Eddie are. Jonesy, why don't you go hang out there? I know that you don't like reading. What do you mean? What do you mean I don't like reading? <laughs> you literally, said that. literally was a student. <laughs> I, I I read all the time. Yeah, but he I, he was a student. That doesn't mean that he's still a student. I probably read more books than all of you combined. Mm. Well, maybe not Ori. <laughs> Ori was just like an assistant. He was. I've like read a, a ton of books. 
Yeah, I had to read a bunch of shit though as an assistant. You really think that they made the main boys read? Oh, yeah, I had to read those religious to do books <laughs> oh, that my bad. My bad. are fake yes, and are made up stuff. No, you, no, you, you, I mean, you didn't maybe, it but, so. it, but it's still a book. Those don't count. I've heard of fiction, Josie. If there's, if, if, if the book is filled with lies, then mm. it doesn't count as a book. Ooh, you know, you know he's right. Well, what was your book? What about with all of those romances? Magical nonsense. I saw you read. <laughs> yeah, magical hoo ha. My favorite book. Magic hoo ha one hundred and one. My books are filled with pentagrams. I'll have you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you book. Picture book that children can read. Disgusted. You're, you're telling me your book was filled with pictures? <laughs> <laughs> How low class. It is a picture. I don't even know what a picture is. <laughs> you all, uh, as, as you're arguing about this, as you're walking through the streets, uh, people again are, are some people are like, definitely like looking you up and down and being like, damn. Like, like they're very confused as to like why people are dressed up in the tuxedos in like the midday, just walking around town. You know, it's, I think it's... I'm naked now. Yeah, by now you'd be naked. I think that you. <laughs> I think that your thing wore off yeah, while we wore were off talking right to her. As we stopped talking to her. I oh, think, yeah. good. So you just you just naked. We're just getting you even more stairs. Amazing. Well, I'm not actually naked. I have clothes. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Right, naked you... as in no illusions. Good. Okay, just making sure. Uh, and you you walk down and you uh you do find the library and you remember it it's got the same like little rickety sign that it had and you you clink open the door and there's like a little bell like ding 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 and you see the same guy standing behind the counter just thumbing through one of the books and it is damn fucking it's super quiet in here. Uh, I'm gonna go up to him and ask uh where where's uh where are your books on uh a botany? This is a library. It's per. I got books on botany. I got books on botany. <laughs> kind of books. Yeah. Like, what? Like what kind of plant? What kind of botany are you looking into? Lo like locations of plants. Oh. And the yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You want things here in like in Lunar's Briar, on like uh like cave growing plants? Do you want to? Uh, preferably both. Oh yeah, I can do that. Get right here. And you see, you see. Right. I'm gonna go to the necromancy section while they're doing this. Uh, you go to the. There's one book. Go, go to the necromancy <laughs> section, and it, there's there's a single book, and it just says how to get help. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a help book. <laughs> this, it's a so self, that's all it's they have. They don't book. have anything else. They do not. They they have it. It, it, there's a child's it. book there that says the little necromancy. <laughs> God damn it. A little necromancer there's that a, could. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a book there, and it's just called Hollow Knight. Oh. Yeah. These book burners, and it's man. about And it's about a knight who's, like, who's like just being really, really depressed, and he's, like, <laughs> trying to trying to get up off of his feet mm -hmm. after a really bad defeat. Exactly. Uh, any... There's a book there that's called My Autobiography, written by yeah. Jones Jasper. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. He's a book. Oh, they carry it. <laughs> books are flying off the shelves. That's why there's no books here. I'm an author. Yeah. Uh, and he he tiptoes away. He goes and he, you see him grab out a couple of books and he slides them back. He's like, not that one. No, no, no. And eventually he he slides out two books. Uh. And he he brings them brings them back over, puts them on the table, and uh, he slides them over. And he's just like, how are you gonna read these? You gonna read them in the? I asked that if you do read them in the library that. Very quiet. I'm trying to read. I, I guess we'll be renting them. Oh, okay. I'll try, but my voice can reach high. <laughs> well, and that's why I'm well, probably going to rent them. I can't. If you <clears throat> want to read them? I have to rent them. Just read. But if you want to be loud and talk about it, please, uh, I'm Do it at your own leisure. Let me just talk to let me just talk to these guys for a second. Yeah, and he looks. I'm gonna walk. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk them and be like, all right, I'll I'll read the books. If anyone wants to read a book with me, they can. Or you guys can go and do your steak eating <laughs> and your little whorehouse visit, whatever you want to do. I don't know. I, I don't try care. Try to find some spell books. 
Uh, this would not be that. Spells? This, this would not be <laughs> this that. This is a library. library, Ryan. It's, uh, I can copy down spells on the scrolls. This so is this is a win. <laughs> this is this is a this is this is a Wendy's library, Ryan. Come on. Where do you copy? Where do you copy spells down from? Then. Well, a lot of people that would have spell books are wizards, and like at at wizard and potion shops. Like maybe Matilda would have had them, but you instead decided to go to the library. The, there's she no should like still... there's no like simple spells like matilda should spell still be spell. around somewhere you can maybe go and try and find her like i can't find a spell on fucking like mage hand or something uh, like something really <laughs> simple like that no because uh, th most of the most of like, the cast light most of the schools of magic keep all their schools of magic learning inside in, like, the walls. Like, magical colleges. Yeah, inside what, the what walls. What about children? What if they want to learn some magic? If like, they, simple magic? We'll go to college. If, if they want yeah, to, they have to go to school If they want to learn magic like a wizard, then they go to college for it. Or some people are, like, like wild magic, like, wild magicians that just accidentally gain their power. Most of them don't have I books. Be a sorcerer or whatever. Yeah, like, don't... So the problem, the root of the problem it. is all the way to, to the education system. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to destroy you, the whole system and rebuild it. You went through this education. <laughs> you went through the education system. <laughs> That's why he has to destroy it. it. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, it was so, the moment so that magic is accessible to all. He was perfectly fine with the system until he went to the public library. Especially and necromancy himself. magic. No, it no. needs to be accessible to all. From what you remember, uh, no college uh, will will turn you away if that is like what you believe. That like obviously, like if you're not making progress in that school, they will they'll drop you. If like you had to repeat the same year like five times, they'll drop you because you're not like getting better. Um, but no no college that you went has like has stopped anybody from like applying and going to learn that and going to learn magic out there. Um, you're a good enough wizard you should have an easy chance getting into a college yeah um i shouldn't have to get into a college should just be everywhere <laughs> nugget <laughs> nugget is nugget is gonna stick with ori and say um for a bit i'd like to read about these potions these plants for potions and oils just as you i also wish to enjoy and indulge in these gilded spoils mm. hey. well, that's uh, we only have two books so that's the two books taken <laughs> make magic open source <laughs> you can go protest in the streets i don't care <laughs> I, I don't think that no one I don't think anyone cares <laughs> none, none of these people down here would care <laughs> I would like to find a book uh, oh. in draconic okay advanced draconic and for you higher know how level to speak speakers. draconic <laughs> she does know how to speak draconic she it's does your, it's like I want to learn how to speak English, advanced English. <laughs> English. Mm. You know, I don't. Advanced I don't know common, any, please. I don't know any swear words in Draconic. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a problem. Florence definitely would so, never teach you the swear words. I I need advanced Draconic. Okay. Also, uh, also um, shit. Mm -hmm. I have to write. I have to rhyme this. I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. No, no, no. You take your time. You know what? If you're gonna stay and look for um, l uh, look for a specific book, without asking the librarian, obviously because you don't want to ask for help for the first time, uh, roll me a perception to see if you can find it. I guess you're as you're walking around, to see if you can just pluck it out yourself. Mm -hmm. Not, not you, Chelsea. Unless you also want to go find a book. I want to look for magic books, <clears throat> like magic tricks. Oh. Like, stage, like staged stage magic. magic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, BB, do you want a book? Hey, BB, do you want to? Do you want to get learned? You want to? You want to? Do you want to scan every book into your database? Well, I'm gonna look for uh, the books on, section. Uh, My arts. dad was a warforged. <laughs> What'd you say? Well, I'm gonna look for books for about martial arts. Well, okay. if there are any, yeah, the yeah, kung could, fu section. I, yeah. Again, uh, uh, there there would be uh. You, you would see like a little homemade section uh where where people that like have had their own uh like written their own novels have wanted like but obviously couldn't like publish them and 
get like big people to go and buy them. Uh, there's like a little section in the back. You can roll me a perception check in that. I find a specific book about martial arts. He's gonna find a bending scroll. You find a magic scroll <laughs> a magic for scroll. the spell wish, and you throw <laughs> it away. <laughs> uh, Philaris, uh, you do as you're looking around. Um, you're, ju you're just scanning uh one of like the language sections that talks about like the because there's a there's a lot of books uh just referencing a lot of people's time and cult like uh, that they spent like either living in like the draconic land and just learning the language uh but you do eventually come across a book um and what's happening he's uh changing his picture uh you he just you, kept switching back and forth uh you do eventually come across the book uh you you come across a couple you see one of them the uh uh the draconic dictionary and you get the book you're probably looking for fucking dragons and, oh. and had a curse. Oh god! And, and and had a curse like you mean it. Fucking right. dragon. Fucking there's two copies of it. Or fucking dragons. There's there's, there's no fucking there's, and then there's fucking. There's, <laughs> you see you see there's no uh there's there's no like proper spelling in the book so it could go either way. Hmm. It's a mix of both. It's heavily pornographic. It's it's, it's different in draconic. Exactly. If you read it in common, uh, it's it's a sex story. If you read it. It's, it's like impressive. an actual educational story. <laughs> All right, and, I'm, I'm uh, good. J Jonesy, Whatever. with a, with an eleven, uh, you do find uh, you, you find the book titled "Modern Coin Magic." Oh, in case you wanted to, in case you wanted to right. practice some some coin tricks. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, I guess. And uh, BB, what'd you say you're looking for? Martial arts. He's looking for martial arts. Oh yeah, did I find anything? Because I don't, I don't think I found anything. With an eight, you're looking around, and there, there is, there's quite a lot of options. But again, they're, they're all like self, like t titles that. How like, to punch good? Yeah. How, how Billy Bill? Yeah. How punchy you enemy? Me punch you not? You're just like I, I, and eventually, eventually the uh, the librarian would come over and he'd ask like what you're looking for. He'd whisper. He'd be like, "Hey, I'm not gonna whisper. No, fuck that." <laughs> he's, he's gonna tell you. To leave. I'm literally just I'm searching for martial art manuals. And in my like, common, undistilled, monotone voice. <laughs> Could you break it down a couple of octaves? Okay, so you're no. looking you're looking for martial arts. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, but it's can't. It's so quiet you can't actually. Hear it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. And he he goes and starts looking. Um, uh, Does yes so loud the building shakes? And 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 he's and he pulls out a couple books. Uh, you see, uh, you see, uh, the Tao Jeet Kune by uh by a man named Bruce Lee. Oh. And then you also, and then there's another book he pulls out, and this this one he recommends. He remembers reading it and having a, a fun time reading it. Uh, Martial Musings by Chuck Norris. Whoa. Right, I'm Read that one. Really quickly. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> well, he holds them both out to you. Put them in your slot and <laughs> devour them. Devour them. Grind them up. <laughs> and, and you guys, and you all spend uh, the next... Like, I'd say about an hour, hour and a half, just reading through these books. Uh, the botany books, uh, they are very cut and dry. The only, the only like reprieve you get from them is, uh, mainly the pictures, because a lot of the 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 botanists, like the pictures they put in here, are obviously very beautiful. They want you to like get interested in it, you know. So they make them mm -hmm. look overly pretty and really doll them up. You guys are just looking for those specific herbs, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're flipping through, trying to trying to just find them. Uh, uh, for for Nugget, some of the ones that are um, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna say you took the one that's for uh the, the botany around Lunaris Briar. Um, you do see the uh uh the Ryath root, and you see that it is a um, it is uncommon. It is usually found around forests. Um. But it is more um, commonly found. Okay. Right through. Uncommon. Yeah, it's uncommon. It is most like it. It is found 
frequently in forests, but it is abundant in mountains closest to where the sun meets the uh to, to where the mountain meets the sky. It's abundant in places like that. But in forests, it's a bit it's a bit easier to find. The quality's not as nice, but you do see that it is possible to get them in um in forests if you needed to like go to places like that. Um Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, you also see, uh, tahiki root is a, um, is a flower that is very odd and is usually orange, um, but if someone, uh, but if someone with, uh, malicious intent is near, the the flower, uh, the flower quickly turns gray and wilts. Oh. If someone, someone with, someone with malicious intent or a malicious alignment. That means Ori could never go near it. I don't intend to hurt the flower. How does it know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you see okay. that. You see that. Uh, these are also uh, these uh, usually uh, common house plants, uh, but are also. Sometimes used in uh, interrogations. Sometimes in um, uh, Bunar's bring in the in flower. Other, in other places where they want to find out, like if somebody's genuinely just like has malicious intent, because it's like they scientists have tried to figure out how these plants know, but there's no real scientific reason as to how they can how they can discern somebody's alignment. So, yeah, but they're just interrogating someone. They're like, "Did you kill that man?" No, bring in the flower. Yeah, yeah, bring in the yeah flower. but where are they found? Where are they found, though? Do I find uh, that? They are. They are. They are usually fr uh, found growing uh, around the sea border. Which is, which is why they are a common uh, plant. Again, Avenar's Briar in a lot of places like to stick close to the sea because, for trading reasons, it is uh, it is quite booming. And uh, it's it's easy to just pick them on your way and then uh, stay over and you can sell them. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Ori, you see uh, the will-o'-wisp ectoplasm and the wisp stalks are uh, they are found deep underground or within uh, damp uh, anywhere that is extremely damp within caves or any place that uh, fits like a cave-like personality. I remember. Uh, I believe Chase found one when he was in the dungeon back in Grastanul. And these are uh, usually found underground. They are they are near impossible to find because they are almost entirely translucent. And looking upon them, uh, it is almost like they are entirely invisible. They are they are a rare uh, they are a rare plant and they are found underground. And you see that in the uh, the cave system one. You also, uh, both both of you have this plant in here because it is technically both of them. The Navoa, which is the gorgeous, glistening rainbow plant, and it is found. It is found in deep forests where cave where a cave entrance can be found, and it grows outside of cave entrances where the sun can rarely gleam on it. So if it is not basically it's so easy to, to see if it's in it because if it's in the if it's in a cave entrance and you can see them growing uh you'll know uh it does not list the specific like any other specifics for what makes them grow but you do see that as long as as long as it is uh in a in, in a foresty area in a cave uh all right uh the balm uh you see this it, it is a common uh, it, it's a it's a common fungus that is under that is found underground. It is a rare, uh, it is a rare black fungus with red leaves that has circles painted on it. Uh, it. Very easily found in dark, dingy places. You could probably grow them if you wanted. And Balmar, uh, you see this one, Chase. Uh, it's it's the opposite. It grows very commonly in forests and it is it is a red fungus with black leaves and it has circles painted on it 
So it's the exact Bal opposite of Balm. It's Balmar. All right, Balmar, you said found in a forest. Mm -hmm. It's orange with black circles. It, it is red with black is red with black circles. Okay. And Balm is is, and then uh, Balm is uh black with red circles. The only difference. Okay. Is, found in, yes. Found in forest, red with black circles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you two, that that is all that you two uh find on this. Okay. Uh, Philaris, while looking through the book, uh, you do see uh, that some of the sections do have smut in them. Oh, that fucking... Whoa. Philaris has never read smut before. It, it's, it's, not, it's not detailed. I didn't have this in my holy text. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet. But what is this? Can we write this kind of <laughs> What? Gross. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> G -g Gross. Uh, but but I'm I'm a <laughs> I can't. I, I can't believe anyone would write this. I oh. must read more so I know. So I know what not so to, know, to, to what to avoid. So I, so I know what kind of justice to look out for when I'm a paladin. <laughs> you know when to you know when to stop someone from saying mean things and doing like such lewd yeah. activities. Yeah, exactly. Was the armor falling off of me? Uh, but you do, you do, uh, go, like, just keep reading through it, and you do eventually, uh, read through most of the book, and you have a pretty good grasp on all of the Draconic swear words, especially because they were used, uh, quite frequently while reading the book. Mm, okay, I learned a lot. Did I learn any non-swear words? Uh, like what? I don't know, maybe... Maybe moist. Yeah, maybe moist. Moist. I learned some smut words, <laughs> words to uh, write in my fan fictions. Someone, well, saw one of the words in there that was half draconic, half common. We'll see. I mean, I it's learned true. what we'll words to look out for when I'm a paladin. Yeah, when I'm a paladin. Yeah. So yeah. I know not to say them. Mm -hmm. That's a fairly precise time. And, and, uh, and, and, Brian, I'll let you, uh, since, since you were reading a book of how to do, uh, coin tricks, roll me a sleight of hand. Well, uh, VB, you learned, uh, uh, how to punch people good and where to punch them gooder. Uh, you wanted to keep these Thanks. books on you and, uh, or read other books. I, I will eventually give you a, a buff for reading all these books on how to, how to, how to punch people gooder. Uh, since, since, it, um, since it's your first time, I'm ready, yeah. Since, since it's your first time, Ryan, and you're trying to do these magic tricks you've never, you never tried before, it's a bit hard. Uh, you fumble a few times, and it's a bit obvious to see, like that you're swiping the coin real quick before anyone can see. Uh, but uh, all in all, it it looks passable. You could get like a child to believe that you just genuinely just perform magic right there. Damn, that's nice. A nice, a nice I, I, coin maybe trick. one day I can become a magician. <laughs> I tried to. Let me try a magic trick. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't read the book, so you'll have disadvantage to try a magic trick. That's fine. All right. I'll I'll try a magic trick. Mm -hmm. Rolling our damn. An eleven. Yeah, yeah, it's it's about the same. Uh, both of you. I'll are... use my flash. No, <laughs> not <a> flash of genius. <laughs> uh, it's, That'd be such a waste. It, it's about the same. <laughs> you try, and you think you can do better than Jones, just because you're you're a bit more dexterous. Your hands are a bit more limbered up, lubed. Uh, since I saw Ori, can I try? Oops. <laughs> can, but you will also have disadvantage up. on. Do it. Ah. Two twenties. Oh fuck. Ah. That's he that's eats the quarter. One. Yeah, you you, 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 uh, you take out one of your gold, you take out one of your gold coins, and you're just like you you try and uh, you try, you make the you gold coin the disappear. the librarian in the face. Yeah, you. You like my magic trick? <laughs> you tackle him to the floor. <laughs> Watch uh, my magic. I'm gonna take you no. Know. <laughs> you went to you went to a section of the book that that uh, talked about that you can like fake swallow a coin and you put the coin in your mouth and instead of fake swallowing it, you actually swallowed it. Oh, he just ate a coin. You you lose one gold piece. Oh, <laughs> bro! <laughs> he'll get it back later. Yeah, he'll get it back. So, mm -hmm. you've lost, lost one gold piece. I'm sorry, Chase. Something's gonna cost exactly 1,025 pieces, mm. and I'm gonna be like... One piece short. Oh. 
Maybe one piece short. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, um, <laughs> well, I had something else you'd like to do in the library. I did. Oh. I would like to go, I would like to go over to the librarian and, and say, oh. um, and like, as I'm handing the, the, the old book over, I say, um, for this new license, my brain has begun to stiffen. Uh, I'd like to find a book to learn the art of the griffin. Ah, uh, didn't give you a license. I'll take out the griffin license. Oh, okay. The, why would, you need, why would you need a book? You are you already you already have the license. My brain has begun to stiffen. I'd like to learn the art of the griffin. <laughs> I'd like to relearn the art of the griffin. Ah. Uh, someone actually came in last week. Wanted to learn and actually rented the book because they wanted to do a griffin writing test with body. I didn't really look into it. It's not my job, but me, but I, I imagine he'll, uh, I, the due date for it is up, uh, uh, next Monday. Wait, what is he saying? He said, uh, somebody already rented it. He had to come back yeah, next Monday. Yeah, but what Monday. did he say after that? Oh, we'll come back next Monday. He said, he said the due date on the book is next Monday. Okay. All right. Sadly, he does not have the, the writer's book, at least... Uh, one to teach somebody how to ride a griffin at this moment. I'll I'll just I'll just nod, and then I. Uh, since Nugget's brain works too slow to try and come up with a, a rhyme to try to ask who this person is, he's going to go. He's going to leave for tomorrow, mm. or for like leave the library. Okay. Come back tomorrow. Ask again. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and ask again. <laughs> if anybody, if nobody else has anything they want to, to to do, you now know exactly where to find these plants. And well, you, you can't go get some of them right now, but yeah. But for later, this is important. And yeah, this will be important. That's a lot of money. This uh, Miss Matilda woman is looking to. She's looking to get, pay a hefty sum for fucking plants. But. <laughs> I imagine that Jonesy would probably want to go to talk to Gibby. Why? Because we have money now. Oh, we do, yeah. <laughs> you all can, you're free to go talk to Gibby. Uh, I, I'm I, gonna, like, you know, I'm going to go would, back to the house and this work would on my be, boat. This would be like later in the day. I, I think like lunchtime is fine to go mm. go and get some meat. Alright. I'll go, I'll go meet Tanner. I'll go talk to Or at the, least I'll try to find Tanner. If he's... Guy. If he's like, working. I mean, you, the guy. I mean, you, I mean, you know where he would work. I mean, he's been there like three times already. Yeah. Uh, anybody else going to go to Gibby Shop? Or Chris, what are you going to do? I would like to go to the church. I am still wait, a wait. church girl. Willingly going to the church, okay. Yeah, I am still a church girl and mm -hmm. all that. All right. Yeah. Uh, th this is uh again. Uh, this is like the last thing I'll have y'all do. Time skip to tomorrow to when your audience with the queen. I wanted you guys to at least be around to be able to go buy stuff and you know enjoy yourself. And so you all. I also just say I quickly like stopped by the guild to sell my stag pelt, my stag horns that I have. Sure. You could have done that while you were in there. I would have said you did that. How much do I get for those? Because these are I rolled a nat twenty for those deer antlers. You did roll a nat twenty for those deer antlers, and they're gonna make they're gonna make some hunter very very happy. And the guild. Oh, was, they make a hunter happy. Well, to from your they 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 killed the deer and they they skinned it, but it was a poor skinny, so they need new uh horns for their taxidermy. Key. Oh, well, I also have a good quality stag pelt because I patched it up with mending. I, 
uh, I will say uh, they will give you uh, 30 pieces, or, uh, 30 gold pieces per antler. Okay. And, and for the for the good quality stag, for the, for the good quality stag pelt, uh, they'll give you uh, they'll give you 65 gold pieces. The good quality. Awesome. Uh, for how. If anybody else just had like things that they wanted to just like pawn off, I could say that you did that while you were in the guild. Yeah, things uh, you can away. They want to buy this bloody crossbow. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, they they would not want to buy your bloody crossbow. <laughs> all right then, I'm not selling anything <laughs> then. <laughs> it's got blood all over it. Clean off the blood. You got a little prezzy on there. Yeah, but then it's just a normal that's, crossbow. And that's fun. It's a normal bitch crossbow. Nobody wants that. I'm just going to go and work on my fucking boat. Oh, yeah. uh, you can go and spend the rest of the day working on your boat. Uh, I think last time we said it was like a third done. I would say you can get... A third? I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I feel like that's you, very generous. You were just getting... I'll take it. You were just getting like you the You worked on it for like a night. <laughs> yeah, you were getting the blueprints done. So that's like yeah, a third... What? That's no. the, like a third of the process. Getting all blueprints done. Now you get to get the frames up. There'll be another third. And the last third I'm assuming is putting all of the pieces together. Alright. That is what I was assuming. Unless all right, you want yeah. me to make it take oh. longer, Keith. Considering this isn't a big boat because you're building in a fucking I, attic. I thought it was a big boat. I thought it was I'm like building. A yeah, I'm building pieces of it in the. I'm not building the entire thing. Mm -hmm. He's building like a ship, like a big ass ship. It's not gonna be a huge ship. It's gonna be big enough for us all to fit on. Mm. All right, maybe I'll make... sleep in it though. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make. You can sleep on the fucking. <laughs> can, <laughs> the fucking yeah, floor. sleep on the floor. Make, make I'm a not house building on beds. Top of it. Make a house no. on top of it. This boat just needs to float. <laughs> it doesn't need to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, again, I could make it take longer if you want, Keith. Again, I was being generous, but... <laughs> I thought he was building a big-ass ship like a pirate ship. That would take more materials than I have yeah, and would... <laughs> basically, I thought you were making like a little dinghy and like... A, like no. Like... I'm trying to build a boat like that's like... Sailboat. Yeah, I'm trying to make, make like a okay. uh, decent sized sailboat. Yeah, yeah, of course, I'd... it's not gonna be fucking built all in the attic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, well, but I could convert his roof into mm. the boat. Into the boat. <laughs> and then he'll have a big boat on the <laughs> top of his house. And we'll have oh. no way to actually get it to the ocean. Yeah. Uh, BB, are you gonna go with, uh, who are you gonna go with? Alright, he said he'll be right back, so I'll just I'll let him do whatever he wants. He's, He's going to the church. He's gonna go to the church. <laughs> Uh, or uh, at, at you part ways, you tell when that you're gonna go uh, finish working on your skateboard in your boat. Um. Uh, Nugget, you're yeah. walking with uh with Faye, uh, to get to the uh, well ma mainly because to get to the nether, it's both in the same direction. And uh, Jonesy cuts off, and you uh you walk over, and you walk over to that alleyway. Jonesy, walk over, you see the door, you open it up, and the lights flick on, and uh, you see the the boy you see Gibby standing behind the counter. And he, he looks over to you and he gives you a big smile. He's like, oh, hello. I'm back so soon. I mean, I told you I'd be back. Well, I just didn't think that you actually were going to. I figured it was a I bit... told you I'd get the money. Why would I lie? Mm, why would anybody lie? Why would anybody need to cheat and steal to make a living? I mean, you don't have to. Oh, well, you don't have to do anything. Exactly. But I just didn't, uh... Again, we don't work with IOUs. I I had money. Hmm. Not enough. Not enough? What's the lowest price thing in your shop? Over well, fucking 200 mm, gold? No, well, yeah. Hmm. Unless you were looking to buy more of the trinket. That's what I was trying to do. You see, but I am a businessman that wants to keep your business. And although I'd love to keep on selling you all my drink, I have more useful items for you. Why sell useful items when you could sell not useful items just for the same amount of money? Well, just, just hear me out. 
How does that sound? And if you don't like the item I'm providing, then buy all of the trinkets that your heart can hold. Okay. What do you got? Well, I know that you're uh, quite fond of being a, a magic wielder. Yes, I'm a bard. Yes, 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 of course. And I know that's something the, uh, the bards are lacking in is a... Uh, is being very dexterous. Isn't that correct? I'm pretty dexterous myself. Pretty damn dexterous. Mm. Interesting for a bard to be dexterous. Usually you'd want them to be charming and... I don't really know how many points you put in the charm. Well, I mean, I am I am a tabaxi. We are naturally mm. dexterous. Well, uh, yeah, I would like to show you this. This was the item that I was going to show you when I thought that you had the money. He, well, he walks over. Uh, holding a holding a ring in his hand. What's the ring out to you? Yeah. Look at what does it do? I, you going to take it? Uh, yeah, but you should tell me what it does first. It uh, it doesn't knock me out, right? It does not. Why it's would not it? Not to kidnap me again. Why? Not used I, to kidnap me I've again. Never kidnapped you. Yes, you did. You literally did. It's, like by definition, you kidnapped me. This this is not going to you, knock you out. I can assure you. Holding it out to you. Alright, let me uh, use the uh, identifying scroll on it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, you can go uh, ahead. I will, uh, I don't have any of those. Oh shit. I don't think, I didn't think those were real. There's, there's scrolls that I did. Well, I think you can, like, because you, you can identify what kind of, like, magic is. With, like, uh... Yeah, with... I, with with my power of identify. I identified. Oh yeah, that that's is a, a spell, spell that I have. <laughs> Damn. And, he, and you, you, you hold. Uh, you take the ring from him. It, uh, it doesn't look like it would fit your finger. Uh, like right off the bat, but when you move it closer, you see that the ring does like grow to like be the size of your finger. So you could, you, it'd be a very snug fit. It seems like it was made just for you. Put it on. <laughs> My oh, slender oh. fingers. Uh, it it would uh, it would it would go to anybody's eyes. Um, even even Nugget with his fat fingers. That's just rude. Well, speaking of Nugget's fat finger, Ryan, you never fucking edited the image to have uh, wow. be Nugget's thing. Wait, Nugget's what? Oh, to change his color? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. And and on on closer inspection, you you look at this ring and it it's very pretty. It's a it's an it's an all gold ring with uh like emeralds like embezzled onto the side. Uh, one at the very top, one at the very bottom, one at the very left, and one at the very right. And on the very top of it is a hummingbird. Is a it's like an actually like a uh, golden with that same like emerald embezzling, except that it looks more like it was made. For a lot more emerald material. There's a hummingbird on top of it. Like, what does this magic ring do? You do not just see it grew to fit your finger. That's pretty magical. It's, magic. it's, the, it's a ring that goes invis invisible. <laughs> when you put the ring on, it turns invisible. <laughs> That'll be 500 gold. The ring of invisibility. You must attune to it as well. Yeah, you gotta attune to it. Uh... And he, and he smiles just like, well, how's it fit? I mean, it fits pretty mm. good. Luckily, I would presume. Can it come off? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Squeezes. Very tight. Actually, you know what? It's, it keeps it's, on squeezing. It's, squeezing. it's, it's not a... stopping. <laughs> it's not stopping. And he takes your finger off and then it's his fingernail. Uh, it's for the finger, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it's like, that's all. That's one of the older items. It's been in the shop for quite a while. Sadly lost some of the boisterous magic it had back in the day. Uh, well, it, what? I mean, it's weaker now? 
Sadly, yes. They don't keep. Well, that's gonna drive the price down. Yes, pay yes, less, yes. Or... I, just, I don't worry. I'm I, was, gonna have to. I was making sure that the price was adequately changed from what it used to be. We called it Da. What was he? All right. The name is the Ring of of a weakened evasion. Weakened evasion? It only works on the weekends. No, is it? As in, it just. It makes it so when the weekend comes, yeah. it skips over it for you. Yeah, you, you skip right to Monday. <laughs> no! Oh, no, no, that sucks! <laughs> you, 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 you know, cursed you, item! You physically get frozen. You get to stand there and watch a Saturday and Sunday fly by, and then it un <laughs> petrifies you on Mo right at the start of Monday. Wow. Fuck. Just to try for you to get into traffic and drive your way to work. Oh, uh, god damn it! No, no, no. As in, as in, it is weekend. Real okay. weekend evasion. Was it weakened before it became weaker, or is it now the weekend weakened ring? Mm -hmm. No, it used to. <laughs> it's even yeah, more yeah. Weakened. How weakened is it? Uh, and he and he uh he looks and he's like, uh, do you have any questions for him when he tells you what the ring is? Yeah, what does it do? Mm. <laughs> the same question he's been asking. <laughs> yeah, and he and he responds like, "Well, it used to uh, it, it used to work a lot more frequently than it does now. But it uh, let's just say if ever you're a little clumsy on the battlefield, it'll save you at least once a day." Uh, oh. Uh, uh, so what it does is, um. It is a weakened version of the Ring of Evasion, and you have one charge a day. If you fail a dex save, you can say, uh-uh, nope, I, f I passed. Oh shit, it gives you legendary resistance for dex saves. Well, it just lets you pass one dex save. But if you fuck up another dex save, it can't help you again. How yeah. often are you in dex saves? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just give this to you for no reason. I mean, you don't have to take it. He said he, he's got a lot more trinkets that you can see in the store. So let's say if I was running away from someone and they try to catch me, mm -hmm. I, it would it would help me get away from them. It would guarantee your escape. Okay, I'm running out of the shop. I'm running uh, away. It does. No, no, no. I'm uh, just you I'm could just you could try, but he's got many <laughs> non dex. Yeah, he's got many non dex <laughs> things. <laughs> Just yeah, try this one. It's the, the ring of it's the ring of teleportation. <laughs> it works once. Oh, it teleport! Wow. Yes, fucking. <laughs> I just sprint out of the shop. No, mm. all right. How much do you want for it? Well, sadly, for for where it is falling, I know that it is not up to snuff for some of the other things in the shop. Three hundred gold pieces. Hmm. Three hundred. That's a pretty good deal. <sighs> I guess I'll take it. Yeah. I wish I could have sold to you the more finer version. Back in the actually right over here, it's yeah. uh, one thousand gold. <laughs> it is a th the actual price of it is over a thousand gold pieces. Oh shit! It, it, I can but... still buy it. Where is this? Do but you he does it? no. He does not. He only currently he only has the uh, ring of the, the he, that is the ring of evasion that has been weakened over time. Damn. Now it is now it is the ring of weakened evasion. So basically, you can put it in the sheet. Uh, anytime you fail a deck save, you can just say eh, no. <laughs> Once a day. Once a day. You can say eh, I don't want to. And pass it instead. All right. Uh, in in fail, but I don't. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it just takes your reaction to do that, so. Yeah, there you go. That, that's the thing he wanted to say. I bought it. I would buy. Figured, like, someone would buy it, maybe. Because maybe you're not the most quick on your feet. You might, be a, you might be like a cat, but like, if a fireball's coming in, he knows that maybe you won't be able to dodge the fireball as well as some other people. Isn't he the best at dodging a fireball? <laughs> There you go. That's Weekend evasion. I like good. Is there anything else? Weekend well, I know how much you love. I know how much you love trinkets and bubbles. 
You know how much I love fucking. I do love my bird. baubles. <laughs> Boy, do I love my baubles. Well, I've got a whole collection of baubles. Yeah, and he and he and he 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 he, he, he turns his back to you and he starts uh, walking and he starts like trying to show you some of the other stuff. Uh, notably, you see a lot of weird things. Uh, one of the weirder ones that you see, uh, and is is the first one that he actually picks up and shows to you, is a, uh, it is a, uh, it is a wooden dinosaur toy. That, that has movable legs, an action figure of a movable dinosaur toy. Do we know uh, what dinosaurs are? Uh, dinosaurs existed. There are dinosaur enemies. Uh, yeah. There are dinosaur enemies as well. T-Rex. Yeah, and he and he he's like, "Won't you look at this? In case you're going to play with your dollies." He shows you that the legs can move, and also the Whoa. the jaw can open and close. That's amazing. <laughs> and he puts it back. Put... What what master crafter made this <laughs> item? Yeah, this, he, this masterpiece. Yeah, he, he puts it down. He's like, "I'm quite proud of that one." No, he made it. Uh, he, he, you made that. He, he walks over. Uh, he picks up another thing. Um. Uh, and he, he, he picks up a, um... Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. I want to buy the, the T-Rex. You want to buy the T-Rex? Yeah. Oh, no fucking way. How nice of No fucking way. <laughs> that would be, that would be 50 gold pieces. The wood... Stole. What? The, the wood, the, it, uh, the wood doesn't come cheap and trying to break it, you'll more likely break your hand. It can be the... Figurehead of the boat. There you go. That's a really small figure. <laughs> you can you can upscale it. Now that yeah, and he sells it to you. He takes the he takes fifty gold and he pockets it. And he he just he's looking around. He's trying to show. He's trying to think of like. Q be the figurehead. We'll put Q in it. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, he's trying to think of like other trinkets that would like that would uh really really like appeal to you. Um. Because he knows that you bought, like, a hand that changes into a different hand every day. Yeah, what is it right now? Oh. Uh, but... Gotta roll for it. <laughs> me a dice, someone. Roll me a D100. Ah. 6176. Damn, he got it first. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm going to go off Ryan's roll, because it's his hand. <laughs> Um, yeah, was, was his roll like a giant's arm or something? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you have a normal human hand. What? That's nice. sick. <laughs> it is. I can I can freak people out. It is just a normal. You know what? Uh, roll me, roll me like, roll me a a, a e5 for color. Color. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Is it blue? Only five shades of people. It's black. <laughs> so that Is looks pretty green? black to me. Blue, green, red, yellow. Uh, it is. I'm just gonna. Uh, one, two, three. Go. Uh, it is. It is. Yellow. yellow. It's it's yellow. Sli it's slightly tinted yellow. Damn, whoever, whoever's arm this was, they had, like, fucking jaundice or something. <laughs> it's a slightly yellow-tinted hand. <laughs> Yo. Um, Your hand it's like looks a pretty sick. Hand or something. Yeah, and, he, and he, he walks over and he's like, Oh, I think he... Get to me. I can't remember if it was you or Nugget that held the box that... Uh, well, you'd remember if you did, but there's another trinket from that same family if you want to hold this one. And he, hold, he holds up. Oh, yeah, up, the he, box that screamed, right? Yeah, the box that screamed, but it only screamed for you if you opened it. Nobody else could hear it screaming. I remember that, yeah. This one screams for everyone except you. <laughs> oh, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> uh, no, he, he holds he holds over an ebony locket. Whoa. Whoa. Dangles it in front of you. What does we, that do? He wants to, He's waiting for you to take it and open it. I'll take it and I'll open it. You open it, uh, and inside, uh, and inside. It my soul. No, no, no. And inside, though, you a picture of yourself. And <laughs> you and picture of yourself and Gibby. And Gibby. 
<laughs> you look up and it's the and it's actually what you two are doing right now. It's actually you, a picture of you holding the locket, staring at Gibby. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it is it is just it is a it is just a picture of you, uh, like a mugshot basically. And it's just staring <laughs> right at just just straightforward eyes are constantly in contact. Uh, and the locket only you can hear this and it and uh, it just says. I will always be here. I will always be I will always be here. I will always be here. I will always be here. Great, you stole my soul! <laughs> Why'd you do that? I didn't- I didn't steal your soul, Don. It's just what the locket does. Well, it's why that, am I in there? It was the locket that stole your soul. Well, and then- and then he- Gibby would be like, Well, you see, if I were to open it, it would, it would say the same thing to me. It, like, it- how do I know it didn't, like, you know, swap my consciousness with one that's identical to mine, and I'm stuck in there now? Look, I'm not, I'm not in the business of killing you to find out, so really, if you're going to have that philosophical breakdown, I mean, there's a church right down the road. Ah, whatever. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, how much do you want for it? Uh, that one. 300 gold. 300?! <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, okay. It's it's in the same, <laughs> it's in the same family as the the other the the, the screaming ring case. So, all uh, right, there you go. These are genuinely uh, magical, and uh, uh, as far as you know, uh, well, give, you can ask Gibby what he tell you. Uh, the, like some of the trinkets like that, uh, don't lose their magical properties over time. Where a lot of other magic items do eventually like wither and fade. Whereas these items hold a specific spot and uncertain as to why they keep their magical properties at infinite hmm hmm interesting yeah interesting. Uh, what else you got well how much do you still have uh, I that's, get, uh, uh, I, that's not uh well, i could think of one that's good, not how this works <laughs> well i'm just trying to think because like i maybe have one more good gift that i could think of yeah what what, what do you got what do you got what else? What else? Uh, and he, he will actually, he will actually go over, um, he will, he will, uh, go behind the desk, he'll pick up, uh, this weird chrysalis-like thing, and he'll bring it back over to you. He'll hold it up to the light, and in the light, and you see that this is a, uh, perfectly preserved insect in amber. That is still wriggling. But this is no insect that you have ever seen before in your entire life or ever even heard of. Whoa. That's pretty... That's pretty interesting. You got any voodoo dolls? A nugget? As I, as I said, I'm not in the business of cursing people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the amber. I'll take it. Wait, wait what does the bug do, though? It is a bug. That's it? That it is, is it. an amber. It is a bug and it is an amber. What happens if I take it out, though? You might guess try. It's oh, before I pay? Alright, I'll try. Uh, I guess I'll stab it with a knife. It, yeah, he's confident. He will, he will let you stab it. Uh. I'll stab it with my knife. You stab it with your knife, and a you hear a large like tink, and uh, there's a chunk, like a tiny little chunk taken out of like the tip of your blade. Ah oh, man, now I gotta get that fixed. What the fuck? Look, you're more than you're more than welcome to try, but first time's on the house, second time you're going to have to pay for it. <sighs> Whatever, I I'll pay for it right now. Sixty gold pieces. Sixty gold, I'll take it. And he, lo he looks around, just inspecting all the other things, just like, I have other things coming to the store soon. I don't want to rob you blind, do you? I'm not, I'm not blind. I know. I'm perfect, I can see perfectly. Yes, I, I know. I have money. I don't want to make sure that the coffers are filled so that you could continue to spend in my shop. But I, I can spend more right now. I have. 
a wide assortment of items coming in soon. Do you have any potions? He's gonna he's gonna think for a moment. He's like, none that are currently not reserved. Ah oh, man, I need potions. There's someone in town. I imagine that's those. Well, Mr. Do you have Jones. a new knife? Do you have a better, like a new new knife? It's not chipped on the end. He, he'll he'll look around. And he'll like. Hmm. I don't believe so. Damn it! Well, All right, whatever. Well, Mr. Jones, it was a, it was a pleasure. Thank you for spending your hard-earned cash from the dissolver fight here. Supporting local business. You appreciate that. If only this shop was local. That it would actually help local businesses. It's as local as it gets. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. And 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 uh, and, and uh, he will, he'll start to like wave to you, and you will say, yeah, you feel that uh, that like slight. Pushing nudge. You don't know where it's coming from, but you do feel, feel like a nudge that's like continuously pushing you towards the door. Well, I'm as leaving he, anyways. Yes, as he's, I don't, I don't, I don't be, pu I'm not pushed. Okay. I, I'm leaving. The door closes behind you. He can't push me. Uh, uh, you know what? Crystal, because I guess it's just next in line. Uh, you break off from Nugget and you, uh, walk into the church. You see, uh, the, currently, uh, you walk inside, uh, it is, it's like almost exactly 12, like, like maybe like 12 or 5, uh, and there's currently a sermon going on. Just in time, I will find myself a spot amongst the pews. Go up and like, pray with some of the other clerics, or? Oh, I, uh, I mean, if I, if I can. I mean, it's up to you. Like, you don't have to if you don't want to. You do. I mean, I just feel like I'd be interrupting if I went to the front of the church. As long as you're like, hey, fuckers. Yeah, I just heads. walk in and I'm no. like, I'm joining now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe if they were about to start, I would. But uh, if they're actually, already... Actually, like, on the on the very end of just, like, uh, like where the front is, you see a GG standing up. You go stand next to him if you want. Like, you see him, like, with his hands clasped. You don't want to stand next to GG. GG actually sees you. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, Gigi doesn't. I mean, you are like seven feet tall. Yeah, you're you're seven, you're eight feet tall, nine feet tall, ten feet tall, ten feet tall. Sorry. Ten. Oh, that damn. All right, so you're just gonna sit. You're just gonna sit in the pews. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit somewhere. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You just you you're being polite. You don't want to like maybe interrupt someone. Just like take them out of prayer. Uh, you, you clasp your hands together and uh. It's the same as what you've always felt uh, when you're doing like uh, very like group prayers. You're feeling, you're feeling. The, the best way to put it is you're feeling warm. If like you're just feeling warm inside, like very safe. Uh, and in like, because uh, occasionally you would peak, obviously in your uh, your younger years, like to keep praying. You're more interested in like what was actually happening, and you can uh, see that like faint yellow, like uh, just like radiance coming from like. Uh, coming from everyone that's praying in this, like, giant group prayer. Uh, for Trilana. Oh, I assume you just joined in. Yeah. Alright, it, it goes on for, uh, well, while that's happening, I'll just do a nug. It, the, the sermon would go on for a little while, so. Oh. No, it, well, I think. Okay. Well, I think. You're up. You're, uh, you're walking through oh. the, you're walking through the nether, you see a bunch of stuff, you see, you see, uh, be a spry young man, and he's trying to get you to buy yarn. Uh, I say, no, bro, and walk away. <gasps> and then, Whoa! And then you take bike damage. I said, no, no bro. bro. Therefore, right. I oh. find. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he he gets uh, you know he, it's understandable you know he he understands it and he kind of backs off. You continue on your way. You see. There's just another a bunch of other people like really trying to like get you like hammered to just buy some of their wares, uh. But you eventually you do get. It's weird though. You're not that smell. Oh. You're not getting, oh. You're not getting, oh. Like, getting that burnt. Real well, manly to, man uh, smell. Well, 
uh, just to just to introduce myself. I'll say, Tanner, my pal, what meats have you laid upon the fiery grill where art is made? You walk up and you can actually see Tanner, uh, like closing his grill, actually. What? That didn't rhyme. <laughs> didn't rhyme, Chase. Sorry. You fall over dead. Fall over dead. <laughs> if you actually say what, I'm, I'm gonna make you take the damage, no. Chase. No, I didn't say what. But I'm nice. gonna, I'm gonna, like, poke at his arm. Mm -hmm. Did he acknowledge my existence? Oh. At least? No, no. He, he. You see, he's focused on like cleaning up and just, uh, you know, like, just making sure everything's good to go. And you, you, and you do poke his arm, and he's just like, so like good to go, as in like starting it up or closing it down. Closing it down. Came here earlier, and he's like, what? and he's like, ah, oh, yes, sorry, uh, I, I were, oh, uh, Nugget, how are you? I, I haven't seen you in a good while. What, what happened to you? You're one of my best customers. Got a bit of the, a, a bit of a dry tongue I, there, or I'm forced to rhyme for 24 hours time. Ah, uh. now I, I, you know, I also lost something like that in a bet against my wife once, <laughs> so I know what you're going through. You it's... know nothing. <laughs> know nothing of my pain. So yeah, I, I I know all about that. In the it's actually the uh it's the Mrs. Birthday today, so uh I'm it's uh I'm gonna be taking her out on uh, on the town. Probably gonna leave uh the Nars Briar for about a week or so. Really go uh taking the sights. Uh, and actually we're gonna stop by Nostanu if you know it. Uh, it, we actually have family that was up there. And we're gonna stop uh. by there for a little while and just. Really go see the sights because it's the Mrs. Birthday. Really wanna, really wanna treat her something nice. Get her off work and just, just go explore. Lunch. I was expecting to grab a steak. I'd even take it if it was a bake. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I, I really would love to serve you, but I mean, you know how the missus can get. You know, I you promise to do something and then you don't do it, and then you're just like, oh, and then now, and now I'm in deep water, and then it's like, and then you're gonna be in deep water. She's gonna come out here and yell at you, and I don't want her to come at you. So I, I, I was just open not till uh, uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago. I was still open. I was thinking I'd see you by then. I, I heard the pray tell that somebody. Uh, Beat the dissolver. Hadn't seen you or uh, for quite a while. And I figured, uh, figured maybe you were so foolhardy, but brave-hearted enough to go and take the dissolver on yourself. So, <laughs> that was me. You see, I'm back. All right, I'm all right. trying to relax. I don't know. Just, that was a long pause. I know it was. But... All right, I'll let it slide this time. All right. It's kind of uh, hard because I, 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 my, my brain was yeah, yeah, so you're, you're focusing I had, I had so much written down. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's all gone. No, I just can't use it. And you can. No, I can't. But but Tanner, I ail with a disease, a mighty infection, a condition called hunger, and I yearn your confection. <laughs> uh, and, and he he kind of smiles at that. You know what? Wait, see if you can see if you can convince him to fire up the grill. Just for you, for his favorite customer. Persuasion. Oh, yeah, God. roll me a persuasion. <laughs> ah, that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> well then, 
Uh oh. Oh good. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And, he, and he and he kinda like he kinda like smiles and he he like he, he whips his head around like round back and forth. Like just the, you know, look look and keeping an eye out. And he kinda like he gives like a big like long sigh and he's like ah. You know, maybe maybe it's worth the missus yelling at me just a little bit. Sell it one more steak today, you know. I can't let my goodbye best customer go hungry. And Nugget, Nugget lights up. <laughs> well, we'll set ablaze the meat with shield-like bark. Only a blacksmith like you can make armor so dark. Ah, <laughs> uh, he did write a bunch of stuff. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, and he kind of like, he kind of looks, and he, he reaches down, he actually reaches in, into, into his pocket. Uh, or like, like the little apron pocket that he has, and he pulls out a potion. Like, this, might, this one might be a little bit of the uh, express cooking. I was gonna save it for later, but I could, I could always get a few. That they aren't, they ain't that, uh, they ain't that expensive. I'm probably gonna have to express cook this one. He puts it on the grill. He put, he puts a piece of meat on the grill for you. Uh, starts up the fire, and you see him, you see him like swig the potion real fast, and you see him kind of like, oh god, oh, it does not taste the best. Let me. And you see him, uh, and you see him go like. And uh, he kind of like tries not to vomit. Oh really? Because it's it's just burning the shit out of the steak. And and then he uh, and then you see him uh, burp. A giant, uh, like cone of flame is is, uh, and starts to scorch the uh the, uh the meat that's on the uh, that's on the grill. Oh, so you drank a potion of fire breathing. Oh wow. He could express cook the meal. Wouldn't get yelled at by the missus. <laughs> nugget, 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 like a tear rolls down Nugget's cheek. And he says, a succulent steak charred to perfection for only the strongest. It needs no correction. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the burp goes on for, for a long time as the fire just continues to like spew out. Oh. Uh, and after about like a full minute, eventually he's like, <coughs> and you just see like a bunch of soot being like coughed up. Oh, oh, it burns real bad. Oh, you may have like you may have heartburn, and it just like it doesn't go away. Oh, I kneel. <laughs> I'm, uh, so, I'm, it was, I'm, it was, I'm, and I clap my hands. He, he looks around. And he's just like, oh, I'm married, Nugget. Oh. And then Nugget gets back up. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? I, I am flattered. Maybe in another life, Nugget. Nugget smiles, and he looks over at the meat. Ah, uh, it, it, it looks like it's fucked up. Oh, it's uh, it looks real fucked up, especially because it was made with a uh, potion of fire breathing. Have yet looks a, a me. Looks a bit more un inedible. <laughs> have yet a me. You have I've not enjoyed. If I could afford a cook, I'd have you employed. And then, I mean, am, <laughs> I like I like like reach over and like sort of gesture if I can. If I can grab it or not. Uh, yeah, and and he he like gestures for you too, and then you can hear uh, uh you can hear uh a woman's voice from off in the distance being like, Tanner, Tanner, are you done packing? And then Tanner goes, oh oh, the missus is coming. Uh, and he kind of like he 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 t he lets you grab the steak and then just like shoes your hand and then like closes up and you see him like packing things real quickly. Oh. Uh, right. Yes, uh, c coming, honey. I'll, uh, I'll I'll be right there. I I I'm just finishing up, but the grill was still real hot. I it, I don't want to burn. No, uh, you know, don't want to burn my hands. And <laughs> you get it, honey. You see, you see him like uh, packing up real quick. And and me holding in the steak, and uh, I look down, and Brandon, will you allow me to take a bite out of the steak? You could try. Roll a strength check. Yes, please. An eight will not do it. 
and uh, and eight and eight will not and eight will not bite through this uh, burp crusted uh, flame uh, skin that it has. I will uh, I will just like try, but like not be able to get through there, and I'll say, oh, "Delicious your meat, crunchy, yet tender." <laughs> You certainly are a skilled food vendor. I, I really, uh, honey. Remember, we have the carriage in in twenty minutes. I, uh, uh, I come and you seem like just like hastily like grab most of the things that he he's already packed up. Yeah, and he starts, and, starts hobbling and his way over. Yeah, I'll wave him as he's as he's leaving, and he doesn't need to wave back. He does not. But I'll whisper. But I'll whisper. <laughs> but sadly, I must leave. A quest I must follow. I shall return before my stomach grows hollow. Nice. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna be gone for the next week, Chase. So. Mhm. Mm Your stomach will grow hollow. Oh, the stomach's then. gonna go hollow. Ah, uh, you know, you guys don't know that. <laughs> Nuggets built different. Just built. Nuggets built different. Built different. Well, uh, now I have this, a. Yeah. At the end of this, so you just got your steak. Now you're you're trying to take some bites out of it. Are you gonna just walk back to Barnes House or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and it just as he's making his way, uh, once he's done with all that, eventually your your sermon comes to an end, and uh, all the people are like getting up, and some some are just like quickly taking their leave, like they came here to do their service. They don't want to stick around for like, you know, talk to people. They just came here to pray and go home. It gets uh, but you do see some people stay and they they walk up. Uh, Gigi it, it, like is actually getting some attention, uh, from a few of the ladies that are like interested in him just because he's a very cute boy. They just, they love just talking to him and just how flustered he gets. Um, uh, uh, you also see, uh, just some of the, uh, just, uh, general paladins, uh, uh, hanging out, um, talking to each other. You don't know what they're talking about. They're too far away. Uh, noticeably, you do see, uh, Linda, but you don't see, uh, Dane Asterberry. What? What is a Linda without Dane Asterberry? See, Linda Huell. I will go talk and to And she Linda. she's actually uh notably she is actually sitting in one of the pews as well. Like more towards the front, like in the front row. Not the exact front row, but like third from the front. And you can see her like as she as she stands up and like stretches a little bit and then sits back down. I'll go talk to her. You, you brush probably some of the patrons and they, they see that you like that you have some very uh, uh some very nice armor on and they uh, they they've seen you like come into the church and talk to Gigi every once in a while, and they 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 just say hi, you know, just a little small talk as you're making your way there. Uh, and eventually, you do come up to Linda, and she looks a little, uh, she looks a little, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say bored, but a little, uh, sad. Sad. Just a little Linda. Bit. A little bit. Linda, what's wrong? Uh, and she 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 she. Turns over and she's like, "Oh, uh, hey, I, I didn't see you were here. Did you yeah, come? I... Did you come to pray? I'm sorry if you missed the sermon. Uh -huh. No, I, I, I came for the sermon. Oh, I was in the back, so you probably oh. didn't see me. You know, you could have, you could have gone up with Gigi. I, I didn't want to interrupt. The, it had already started by the mm. time I got here. Oh, okay. That's very nice of you. How are, how are you doing today? I'm doing fairly well." Uh, where's, where's Dane? I usually see you with him, but he's not here. Yeah. I know. Hasn't been here for the past days, I think. Been... Where'd he go? Uh, he gone anywhere. He, he's been sick. Been sick? He's one, of, he's one of those people that are just like, if it doesn't kill me, it makes me stronger kind of deals. You know, he doesn't want to like go get healed or anything like that. He'd rather just let the sickness go through and something about antibodies in the system. He's saying some weird you know, stuff. I feel like Lawrence told me something about this, but I was too young and I didn't listen to what he was saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good for the system to let the let your own body fight it, which is like weird. Like we have magic. We do. We do have magic. You could just heal. You could him. just heal away, but so he's he's been out for the past couple days. Wait, wait a minute. Aren't paladins immune to disease? 
Lying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a Wait minute. A minute. <laughs> lying. lying. Lying, bitch. <laughs> An insider, if you want. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Intelligence. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can. Oh, that's a pretty good inside. All right, Linda. You, ah, five on the dice. No matter how good her multiplier, isn't gonna get there. And and, and you're you just kind of sit there and like you're listening to her story, and eventually you're just like, huh? Wait. Lauren specifically told me that like I asked him like when's the last time he's been sick, and he was just like, what is that word? I feel like I've heard it before, and you. It's like, it's been, and you remember that he said it's been, like, many, 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 many years since he's ever, like, even experienced, like, a cough or, like, a cold. Yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence has never been sick in all the time that I've ever known him. <laughs> and, and she kind of, like, she's like, she's like, what, what do you mean? What, what do you, what do you mean? What do I mean? Oh, paladins are like kind of crazy, you know. Maybe someone would say OP. You might say OP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's like, <laughs> uh, why did you want to know about Dane? Well, I was just wondering, you know, if he's not doing okay, or if he needs help. I could. Can maybe try to help if he if I can. Uh, you can roll another insight if you want. Oh boy, my best at best at. Oh, ah damn, fucking, you're fucking me right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see it. She she looks she looks a little worried. Like, she's got, like, a worried, like, I don't know, like, how much more I can say kind of face on. Like, she she was hoping that, she was hoping that you would just believe the whole, he was sick. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, she, she's, you can see, like, the, the gear starting to turn, like, what do I say, what do I say, what do I say? Is he in danger? No, no, no. I, 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 I hope not. Is he in town at all? Yes. Is he okay? I would hope so. Hmm. So you don't know. Well, I, uh, it, uh, you want to go to the back and maybe talk? Sure. I don't want to. I would not want to do it out here when there's other people that could maybe hear. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And and sure. both both of you get up and you walk to the back and eventually she takes you to the, the barracks and she leads you over to like her bed and she she sits down. She, she lets out like a long sigh and she she like takes her seat. It's like. Ah, oh, D Dane, Dane said he had, he said he had a mission to do, and that he, I couldn't go with him, that he would, in Lunar's Briar, that he was going to go buy something, or I didn't to help him with his mission or something, I, I haven't seen him in Past two days, and, but he he said he was gonna stay in Nars Briar, so I, I mean, it's not many places he could hide. So he hasn't left yet, or but he didn't say if he was ever gonna leave. He just said that he was gonna he was gonna get something and be in Lunar's Briar. I just don't know. I don't know why I couldn't go with him. Mm hmm. Uh, that's that's you, really honest. Uh, that's that's all I know. No, I, no, I, I believe you. So he went to go buy something for his mission, and then uh, never came back. Mm -hmm. So, Ben, 
fellow cleric. Y yes? You haven't tried looking for him? Uh, well, of course I tried. I mm -hmm. This is my paladin. I, it, uh, you know how, uh, uh, you know how it feels to be away from them. Oh, well, I completely understand. Of course, I went to look, but obviously I've only been to the places that like I I know of, and I looked around, but I I wouldn't know where he would go. He like he gave me any clues. Mm -hmm. the, the last thing he asked for me was like a the tape measure. What do you need that? I don't know. Maybe he was gonna build something. I I like wish a I boat. He's gonna build a boat. <laughs> TM. <laughs> Ori's boat, TM. Ori's boat. So I and he asked for a, a like a tape measure. I I haven't seen Ori. <laughs> No, no, his so dick I've just, was small. I've just been, and so I've just been telling people that he's he's been sick and wants to fight it off himself. So I, you know, uh, most of the other most of the other clerics and paladins just kind of believed it, but <laughs> got a how, bit a bit of a sharper how nose. A, how much of the town have you uh, looked for him in? Mainly, just in, mainly just here in the. So. And one more question. Did you ever use magic to try to find him? Uh... It's against the rules! I wouldn't want to spy on him. Fellow cleric. <laughs> I, I... I know the locate creature spell. Mm. Thus you do as well, fellow she, cleric. He says she doesn't want to like go and pry, so... Uh huh. I'm gonna insight you... that. Go right ahead. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, God, a good roll. I believe her. Well, she doesn't want to pry. And I mean, she don't want to so. pry. Okay. All right. Um, I'll I'll keep a lookout for uh for Dane. Mm -hmm. If I see him, I'll I'll let you know you're looking for him, and I'll uh. I'll let you know as well. Also, fellow cleric, mm -hmm. have you tried uh, doing a sending at him I, in I, his direction? I, I, I have sended, yes, but he hasn't responded. No response at all? Mmm. That don't sound good. It takes like 10 seconds to reply. I mean, come on. Maybe he's busy. That's, that's that's what I'm saying. Maybe he's just busy. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I'll see about him. Also, when is the next church bake sale? Next church bake sale. Yeah. Um, do we do do we do bake sales in our? We used to do it back in the church that I spent a lot of time with Florence at. Well, I was just wondering if they did bake sales here. Done bake sales. Mainly, it's more of just like whatever all the other clerics and paladins decide would be fun for, for all of us. Last, last time we did a bake sale was probably over a year ago. Nobody's really suggested it since, but last year it was a last year it was like a, a, a like a make your own costume kind of deal, and there was a big costume contest. Nice to, to walk like the little runway. Before what if we did a bake sale this year? I could. I could ask the other girls and paladins about it. It sounds like a fine idea to me. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be good, I'd good for teaching everyone how to how to cook and well have fun. <laughs> We're probably eating. Um, I don't want to say bad meals, but I know some of the girls here have never cooked before, and some of the paladins as well. So it'd be it'd be a good time. It was always fun when we did them. And I can in my other church definitely like talk to some of the other about it and see if they're interested. Well, why'd you bring it up? Maybe because I was thinking about Lawrence. Have you tried? She gives you. A, she gives you like a big like, like a shitty grin. She's like, Did you try sending. Always. 
And she, she laughs. All the time. And she, yeah, she giggles. <laughs> and I don't she... understand. <laughs> No, I'm sure you understand. But like... Yeah, yeah, and she she giggles, cause you know she she knows like both of you have sent to your to your paladins and just try to talk to them, you know. Well, anything else you came by here for? No, that's about it. Oh, I think that that I could help. Uh, if you, you Dane, I'd like to know what he's doing. Nice. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I see him. Or hear anything about him. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Oh, you know what? He... I do remember that he... Did take my, uh... And she, she like... Like, around her neck. She still has, like... Uh, she, she calls it, like... Um, she has a holy symbol. It's not, like, her holy symbol. Take my... But I had a bunch of jewelry... Everything makes sense to me now, okay. It does it? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. All the pieces are falling into place. I see him now. What? What do you mean? They're falling into place. Rain. It's gonna rain today. It's gonna rain today. <laughs> I see it. Don't you see it? In the clouds. Okay, um, I don't know what you're talking about, but... I'll let you know if I see him. Oh, okay. I assume he's gonna get up and leave. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. I, I don't really have anything else here, so... Okay, yeah. I'll, like, wave her goodbye. Yeah, she, she, she like, don't worry about it! I'll look for her, bye! Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she gives you a big wave as well. I'm gonna talk to Gigi on your way out. Hey, Gigi! Bye! <laughs> Wow. Maybe you're not gonna talk to Gigi. I know he's your favorite character, but we have bad blood. <laughs> you have bad blood with him. Uh, is there anything else you were gonna do, or? Nah, I'm just going back to the house. Now. Okay, yeah, and you, you all, you, you actually bump into Nugget, like, or I guess Nugget will bump into you as you're leaving. Oh, hey, hey Nugget. Hey. I say, Nugget says, "Hey, Faye." And, How you uh, doing, Nugget? Ugh. Pretty rude to not oh, answer. Oh, what would she say? Did How I... you doing, Nugget? Not answer. Two D twelve damage for not for not being polite. For being rude. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say doing good. Got some food. Another I don't accept those, that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> good and food do not rhyme. Doing good. Got some food. Doing good, got some food. <laughs> Are you telling me that doesn't rhyme? In in no world would anyone ever consider. Well, he just he stretched the words. Dude, dude, food and food. Doing good, got some food. Chase, that's Chase, that's eleven points of psychic damage. Are you fucking actually <laughs> serious? Good and food do not rhyme. Even even when you yes. ex even when you extended it, I was like, it still doesn't fucking rhyme. I saw what you were going for, but it did. Good didn't. and food. Yeah, they so rhyme. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they... I'm taking the fucking damage, but fuck you for that. It doesn't <laughs> rhyme. You're literally wrong. Oh, okay, well, you took the damage. If you would like to respond, oh, would you look at this, Chase? D do does the word "good" and "food" rhyme? For example, the words "good" and "food" do not rhyme. Hmm. Hmm. Would you look at that, Chase? Would you look at that? <laughs> Fucking trying to metagame me, Chase? Not <laughs> metagame. That wasn't metagame. <laughs> he was just no. being. A I'm you just trying to work to with it. the RP that you gave me, <laughs> and now you're going again. This is fail RP. I'm calling it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, so you're right. Uh, you, uh, you do. Oh, yeah. 
you do feel uh you do feel like uh like a, a sharp like sting in your head for for you know, not making up a proper rhyme scheme ah! <laughs> oh i i thought that one was close nugget good and food almost rhyme <laughs> Good and food always right. Maybe if you were like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. Anyway, what about you? There we go. Um, you know, I just you. stopped by the church. We did a bit of a did a bit of a what the fuck did you call it? sermon? A sermon. Yeah, had a little sermon. Uh, talked to some people. Getting things going for a bake sale, maybe. What the hell did you? I'm gonna know what you learned about. From what she said. What? <laughs> what do you what do you think Dana Astorberry's doing? Uh They're like, I see all the, the all the pieces are put into place. That's metagaming. I can't say. Yeah, I know. What the hell could you possibly learn from that? <laughs> you know I, good... I picked up what you're putting down. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay. You know it would get... you know go good with a bake sale? And <laughs> a sale of ale. Ooh. I don't know if the church B Y O B? Build your own beer? Ooh. It might be interesting. You could always Ooh. propose it again, like I'll 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 talk to them about that, Nugget. We'll see. We'll see. Nugget, in fact you could talk to them about it. Hey, you'd expect me to be here if there's gonna be some beer. <laughs> <laughs> see these rhyme chase. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, in, in... Take 20 points. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry. I, I... Fuck and you Fuck don't you. rhyme. Fuck and you don't rhyme. Uh, you two, uh, I assume you're not going to stop anywhere, so just going straight home. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you, yeah. you guys walk straight home. Uh, if you do want to keep, if you do want to look for. Dana Astorberry, Chris. The role perception, I promise you're not going to see him just walking through the main streets right now. I'm, I'm not going to bother then. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that I did it, but like... Yeah. He's not just he's not just in broad daylight. I wouldn't at imagine least. I would just see him after two days of Linda not seeing him at mm -hmm. all. And I'm just like, oh, hey, Dane! Oh, hey, what's up, Dane? Yeah, so... Uh, you, you all eventually make it back to the house. This and BB finally made his way there. He rebooted. Find his way to the house. Uh, ev everyone's there. You can hear like you can hear some some banging and uh, sawing coming from the attic when you arrive. Um, Ori working on that boat again. It seems on that boat. His masterpiece. Once he builds the boat, put Q in it. Where is Q, by the way? Uh, he's up helping me with the boat. Oh, okay, just make it sure. I don't know where we put him. Send him out to find the herbs by himself. I wonder if he gets tired playing <laughs> with all that wood. He would. Do you, would you imagine that anything that he makes is good? Wow, what a fucking rip That's nugget. mean, dude. What yeah. Fuck? Why would you say that? <laughs> yeah. Like he's fucking rubbing one out or something? He... On. <laughs> nugget looks to the ceiling. Let us you scorching oh. rage shoot the no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh and, and, and uh, quite a quite a while passes um uh one, one and you guys are just hanging out uh there there's there's again there's food in the house if you want to like snack on stuff you know he he wouldn't really mind he's he's more than happy to have guests over he's, he's especially happy to have nugget over all the time uh, but after like five or six hours of just relaxing, like really just getting off your feet and relaxing, uh, for Lars, you, I don't know if you rented those, those lewd books, but I what, didn't. Okay. Just make it sure. Oh, why? What are you going to say though? I think you spent, <laughs> you spent the next couple hours reading lewd literature. Oh no, I didn't actually rent them though. Learning, Darking off. learning even more curse words. I'm just explains. I'm I'm recalling what I read today mm. though. Yeah, keep it in, keep it fresh in the mind. Yeah. Uh, and and so uh, j just relaxing honestly uh, goes, and eventually you do hear a knock at the door. Hmm. 
Well, good night, guys. <laughs> good night. We're just going to ignore the knocking. <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> Phoebe's the one who normally answers the door. <laughs> they're still knocking. Well, they're not getting stopped because nobody answered the fucking door. Fine. I guess I'll love. Oh, okay. Get the, get the droid to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Open the goddamn door. Uh, you, you do, you do open the door, um, and it is, uh, it is an elf. Well, <laughs> you see a very, you see a very well-dressed elf. Wait, so I can't straight up, I can't open the door. It's like being forced. I'm saying when you open the door, that's what you see. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that he was one. Okay. No, no, so no. So what's the elf? Does the elf one? Oh, he, he, he smiles when he opens the door. He's like, ah, I assume you are the BB? Elves. Well, the Empress, the Empress has sent me my way as a as a bit of a courier. I guess is the proper way to put it. Uh, I have been told that well, the, the queen is giving a right speech up in the upper district and would love the, and would just absolutely adore the company of the people that took the dissolver down. Be there and just the, and have front row seats in attendance or, uh, so that they could be properly honored here in Lenora's Briar. Just what I was told. You mean right now? Well, I mean, I only do as I am told by the Empress. Sorry if this leads to a fight. <laughs> I smell combat on the I horizon. Smell combat on the horizon as well. We should go so we could get some combat in. Yeah, we should go get some combat in. Let's just shoot this guy and <laughs> and work on my boat. <laughs> Let's just kill the cure. Just kill the messenger and pray to God nothing bad happens to us. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're we're not even gonna clean up the body. We'll shoot him. He'll die, and then we'll close the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, well, I don't know if you want to get dressed for the occasion, but I, I. Not still dressed fancy. Well, I mean, you could still be, but again, you had like five or six hours to like get out of like the fancy clothes and get the comfy ones. Hey, hold on, let me put on my comfiest clothes, my armor. Well, it's probably. I mean, I don't know what is more comfy to you. Imagine you have like you have basic clothes you could get into. I think I do have like. I've never looked at it in my inventory, but I think I do have like. Uh. Yeah, like some kind of like dark clothing. I remember it specifically yeah. mentioned it being dark because of my background. Yeah, so there you go. You could get again just into really anything. And he's just he's just kind of smiling, standing there. Like, well, but if you don't wait, if you don't wish to, I'm a, I just I am here to the message and uh well I won't be squatting all the way through the upper district that is well the the guards won't exactly let me through without the Empress and well missed that boat. So seeing, wait, seeing as I'm here. Well, so wait, we need to get to the upper districts. He can't take us there. Oh no 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 no! Why why is he here? I I did, I am here bringing a message from her saying that the queen wishes your arrival, in the upper district. Mm. Well, how do we get to the upper district? I will not Love be escorting you. I will not be escorting you through the upper district, but the guards will let you pass. There you go. I mean, I, I just am not. I ain't got nothing planned for tonight. Want to build more of my boat? I understand that you probably have prior obligations, but meeting the queen is not a. It's not something that should be taken lightly. It's very, it's very rare for her to, especially call out uh, specific individuals. But this is a mighty high job, and even I am grateful. So I lost some brothers and sisters. And, Oliver. Even I am grateful to you, wonderful heroes. Alright. Hear this from yeah, I guess I'm free. The queen I could see. 
We'll go see the queen then. I'm not dressing fancy. I'm taking off my fancy clothes. Mm -hmm. That's I'm going I'm naked. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue wearing my ascot and hat. Hey, you didn't have to wear fancy clothes. You can wear whatever you want. So I'll will I will wear a fancy hat with my lab coat. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. And I'll disguise self a tuxedo. Okay. Yeah, you do it. You have a nice fancy. What's the color though? No way, actually, I'm gonna disguise self a noble's like outfit. Mm, like okay. Noble outfit. Like a general, like a like a military, like noble mm -hmm. military, like officer uniform. Yeah, yeah. Uh and and, yeah. You, and you two are and then I assume everyone's going. Yeah, I might as well. Alright, and you all you all Come down and uh he's he's very happy and he and uh, as you close the door he's like so uh i it, let me make sure i've got the names right as you start as as he's just like leading the way towards the upper district he's like we have the bb and uh the 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 cleric I don't, uh eat what's her name eat eat that's not your name you say feet is that not your yes. name? No. Oh, where are you got feet from? Oh, feet. Faye? Oh, oh Faye? Faye. Faye, that's what it was, not feet. Cleric feet. Sorry. Cleric feet. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, uh... Oh, silly, silly me. I'm... Uh, oops. Look, I... Oopsie. Look, sometimes I forget, okay? It's, I've never met you all before. I've told your names, like, one time. I was reciting them on my way here, but you just kind of forget. Mm-hmm. And then and then we have the we have the small angry one. Jane's Jasper. But you're not the a smaller, s angrier the smaller, one. angrier one. Or angrier one. The cobalt Mr Mr. Galifant. Close enough. <laughs> and then we have we have the uh the idiot. These aren't my words, by the way. I'm the the one made of stone. I, uh, I was really hoping that you say the cat. <laughs> I, I also thought he was going to talk to Jonesy. <laughs> um, I'll raise my hand. And what, yeah, what's his name? Uh, uh, nipple. Nipple. <laughs> nipple. Uh, nipple and feet. I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still raising my hand. I'm waving. And then... Wreck him. And then, <laughs> and then the pussy. Turn Does he have a name? I'm look at him. I'm gonna look at BB. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he knew BB's name. That one was easy to remember. <laughs> uh, what, what's the pussy's name? Gibby. 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 Jansy? Jibaya. Jibata. Jijijijia. Germ. 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 Yes, that is my name. Germ. <laughs> yep, that's me. How many did it get right? Yeah. I, 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 Germ 985, yeah. <laughs> I got Mr. Galifanth. Feet. Sorry, Faye. Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Nipple, baby, and, uh, and Jerma. Yeah, sounds right. Sounds about Nipple, right. baby. Nipple, baby. Nipple, baby, and Jerma. <laughs> the new variant of baby, the nipple baby. <laughs> it, it, is, it is an honor to make your... To, just to, to come and deliver messages. I, I again, I lost... Any brothers and sisters to Salva, so knowing that you gave him, uh, knowing that you gave him what was coming to him, and I wish I could have been there to do it myself, but working for the Empress is a tiring job, as you can probably tell. I bet. No, do you know how much, you know how much she smokes in a day? I don't know how she's, a woman. Of... She's just blazing it all the time. All the... Like, I think most times I, I, why do you think I'm like a messenger? I'm usually out and about going and getting 
certain kinds of leaves and things so that she could smoke them. You'd think a woman at her age would realize that you shouldn't smoke, but uh, I guess once you get to that old age, I guess you just don't care anymore. You know, the guy with the nice ass, he also smoked a lot. Nipple? No. Oh, nipple, you just got a compliment. The elf guy. Uh, I think his name was... Uh, 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 wait, no, 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 it's right there. It's right there, I know it. Mm -hmm. um, Greer? Greer. 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 Greer, Greer, Greer was his name. Greer, Greer, Greer Tree Light. I wrote it down. Thank you. All. I'm glad someone wrote it down. Ah, Greer. I've had yeah. many occasions with him. You know, he's even kind of an asshole to most of the elves oh. here as well. I think it. Maybe, I, I think it's too much time with the Empress. Don't uh, tell her I said that. I, he suddenly I dies. <laughs> Yeah, and then he just falls over dead. He's a little, he's a little like, man. He's a little man with a lot of sass. I wonder what kind of stick is stuck up his ass. <laughs> I'll laugh at that. Like, oh, that was a good. That's a, that's a good one. I'll, oh, God, I'm going to. I'm really going to give him that. I wonder how he. I wonder how he respond. You're gonna get. Can you repeat it? Uh, little man. <laughs> Stick up his ass. Yeah. Nugget will yeah. clap. Nugget will clap. And you know what will make him even madder than that? What's what's that? Give him a piece of dancing monkey fruit. Trust me. But, you'll know what it means. Okay, I mean it's not that hard to find, so I could give him some dancing be, monkey be fruit. Be careful though, he might he might go off on you. Oh, this is well, you know, anything to get away from the Empress. I I'm sorry that he's that she's not such a good influence on that boy. Again, like boy well, i mean i'm older than him boy by my standards what what is this guy is he like a an elf he's an elf oh <laughs> elf messenger came to get you guys what's your name my name did, yeah did i not tell you when i when i arrived i wasn't listening. i don't think so you just said bb it's you <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me let me find his name on here somewhere. And my the, good friend Nipple. So, in, in, his name's Enzo. <laughs> yeah, it's I, Enzo. Elves and shit. My name is uh Relis Lomright Kalitia <laughs> Relis <Stu. laughs> Junior. <laughs> Relis Junior. <laughs> his... Oh, here it is. Uh th this man's name. Jesus. Uh, yeah, Jesus. Uh, it, uh, he's like, uh, I am Yella Uthella. What did you just say to me? What'd you call me, motherfucker? <laughs> Yella Uthella? Yella Uthella. That is his name. Man. Yella? You could, you could. Imagine, imagine guys, if we had... If we had disintegrate, we could kill him and no one would know. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what level this guy is. You have no <laughs> idea what level he is. Was, he's a messenger from the Emperor, so like, he's probably higher level than you think. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's probably a higher level than us. He's a messenger, though. Yeah, but like, They're I don't think the, the, queen doesn't, it, the Queen doesn't employ weak people, I feel. This isn't the Queen, this is the Empress. Doubly yeah, so. employ weak people. Du <laughs> doubly so doesn't employ the weak. Yeah, she it's... employed us without knowing anything that we did. <laughs> You're expendable to her. This guy's an actual elf. Yeah, you, you guys were expendable humans? Or expendable non-elves, basically. Not one of us is human. <laughs> yeah, but you're also- none of you are elves, so he, she cared so little about you that you dying would me- she wouldn't lose a wink of sleep. That was the main reason she did it. Because you're expendable. Yeah, we'll, how does we'll she, go how does she know that under nipple skin is not an elven man? But I gotta go Because he would have been born in, in the elven lands. Uh, he's like, it's like, and he, 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 all just, he, turn, he stops walking for a minute, turns around. Because uh, it is a bit of a walk to the, the upper district, and he, he holds his hand up for a handshake. You can call me Yella or Uthella. Either or. Okay. Or Uthi. I sometimes get Uthi. 
All right, yellow. Let's go. Never, never, never got the yellow before, but. All back, when I, all back when I was young, the elderly called me Youthy. <laughs> youthy? <laughs> youthy. Because youth. Ah. I get it. Oh, I get humor. It. He's like in. Decapitate that man. Yeah, it, it, as he's walking. He's just like, so, what did you all do today? I can. I can tell you I've had one. One real heck of a day I have. Well, what happened in your day today? Oh, what happened in my day? Well, you won't believe it. I actually went to the library to ask if I could uh, borrow a book on gargoyle lessons and, like, taming gargoyles, but apparently all the winged beast books have been rented out. That was Somebody's a Somebody's trying to learn how to fly those winged beasts. And so, I was... You know, and so I was really hoping that, you know, I... And I was like, well, I mean, I, I don't have to set up a gargoyle. Maybe I can go for, like, a griffin. And I was like, well, sorry, the griffin isn't there as well. And so I ran around the, the libraries... Trying to find, or just like local mom and pa shops, trying to find something, but really there was nothing. Ran all around town and went back to see that the Empress was in a bit of a bitchy mood again. Went out and got her a lot of alcohol. Let me tell you, I don't think I've. Tonight was one of the worst nights. I've had to make like six trips for alcohol. Six trips for alcohol. Can you believe that? Mm. No, I also went to the library today. Really? What you what what you peruse at the library? learned about plants and I brushed up on my advanced draconic <gasps> advanced draconic advanced draconic what kind of advanced draconic are we talking about um advanced <laughs> for higher level speakers of draconic I sadly I, I know none of I, I know some basic words in draconic I see I'm not much you might not, I might not get this from any of the other elves, but I, I know that we've had some bad blood with many of the other races, mainly humans, and uh, the dwarves were pretty bad for a while, but you know, I don't much see like wh why the need to perpetuate the hate goes on, and really I think having to like have like a badge to enter our land, or even like a little chain you keep around to like enter our land, it really is stupid. I don't make the rules. I know a bit of Draconic, and he'll try his best to say, like, hello in Draconic. Uh, I will say, uh... Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I'll say fuck you in Draconic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say shit and ass. <laughs> he's all like, oh, what eloquence. And he's just like, I don't know what you said, but it was, sure was beautiful. <laughs> I assume that's just like... Some, some, of, some of the new words that I've been learning recently. Oh, wait, could you say it one more time? And then I assume we just... Shit and ass. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like... Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to remember that for, for next time. What does it mean? Uh, uh, it means... It means... Uh, <laughs> Lovely Please person. Please and thank you. <laughs> Please and thank you. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> He's like, please and thank you. Okay, I will try and remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, just you, you actually believe that? Of course. I I said that. I, she didn't say that. I said that. No, I like this answer better. Yeah, I could, don't even she... know Draconic. He get back off. But so he's now gonna say shit and ass to to dr Dragonborn. In, in, in Dragonborn. Thinks it says please and thank you now. There's gonna be like some dragonborn nobles, and they're gonna be at the castle, and he's gonna be like shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna be like, what did you just <laughs> say? What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna be walking. You think it's please and thank you. They're gonna be like, oh, would you like this seat? And then you you try and say please and thank you, but you just say shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nice He's guy. gonna be executed. <laughs> Such a nice guy, you guys just ruin everything. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should fix this. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Yeah, and, and you, you guys walk for a while, and he, he, he and uh, he, he is just, he, uh, just likes, it, wants to get to know you guys a little more as you're walking. Uh, but eventually, you do see uh, the very large, uh, like wall Oof. that separates the uh, 
uh, the districts, and uh, you do see guards standing out for it. Like many guards posted out front in the, uh, the upper district. And as soon as he like uh, like gets to a certain district, he kind of like smiles. Is like, well, uh, this is where I go. No reason to walk up there and just to tell they be turned away. I think the Empress would provide me like a place to sleep up there, considering you know I run all the messages for her. Where Where have you been sleeping? Well, usually I sleep up there because I don't miss the mark. But today she needed me to come down here to get all of you, and as I'm going. Unless I'm going up there with the Empress herself, it's not like I can just go back and forth as I as I so please. Mm. It's a well, bit of it's a bit, a bit of an exclusive district, if you couldn't tell. The uh, the inn is very cozy. It. She have a great time there. Very lovely, uh, Kenku brothers. I, I I did stop in there just to rest my feet, and I I did hear one of the other brothers call the Crow brothers call each other like assholes. So I. I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Very lovely bunch. They're uh-huh. good time. One of them said dick quite a bit. Well, one of them's name is Dick. Well, they all look the same. How am I supposed to tell which one's Dick? <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, 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 really. They all do look the same. No, I know. No, I know. You're right. <laughs> you, you just... just call all of them. Call all of them dick? Well, I guess one of them will respond. One of them will respond. Well, it was, uh, it was a pleasure meeting all of you. I don't imagine we'll meet again, but if ever I had the pleasure, uh, I'd like to get to know you all more. Maybe sit down for a drink. Yeah, you take care, yellow. Yeller feller? Yeller Uthella. The name? But I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to hop on it. Not much care. Ugh, and he kind of gives like a big stretch. I'd rather I'd rather go toss in for the night. And he kind of like turns his back as he and as he like gives you guys a wave, walks off. Oh, wait, Break his see. kneecaps. <laughs> now <laughs> disintegrate him. Yeah, now, now disintegrate we just, him. When he's, he walking back away, <laughs> he's walking away, catching me, and just like ah. <laughs> Fades into nothing else. I don't feel so good. <laughs> now that he's gone, what level was he? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> he was level nothing. He's a citizen, which means he has like 4 HP. <laughs> no, he was level 15. Oh my. Wow. Still lower level. Still than, disintegrate him. Still lower level than Dreer. Yeah, but still higher level than us. Yeah. We're only level 3. You're higher than level three. You're level six. Wait. Hey, there you go. So yeah, and uh, so yeah. I mean, could have tried to fight him. I don't think it would have gone well, but wanted to try and disintegrate. There's five him. of us and one of him. If he's not a spellcaster, he's fucked. Oh. And if he is a spellcaster, we can easily beat the shit out of him because he has no defense. So. <laughs> He's fucked either way. <laughs> but Pepe left, they don't know. He's actually all of the classes. He's every class. He, he's a paladin, so they'll lose. <laughs> Level 15 paladin, baby. Uh, and you guys walk up, you guys walk up to the gate, and at first they, uh, uh and at first they, they, they stop you. I'm like, what business do you have with the, oh. Well, if it's, I, I, I've actually got a report to that the, uh, the, the, the ones who made the Dissolver, the Dissolve V thing, look out for an Earth Genasi, a dragon on the Maxi, all dinner all forged, and well, you all fit the bill quite well, actually. Quite specific, actually. Looking at they it. They didn't provide any names, just descriptions? <laughs> well, there's names here, but I don't care. Uh, or any scala. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, I I have names here, and he he has like a piece of paper, and it actually has your names on it. I have the names here. I just I I figured you you're the only one. What if another ragtag group of an Earth Genasi Cobalt Dragonborn, <laughs> Warforged and Genasi Warforged. just happen to come by? Well, if, well, if they happen to come by, then I really then I would ask. Then after I said that, and I started listing off their names, I assume the the decency of them to be like, actually, that's not us, would, would be enough to get them uh, uh, 
to, to fess up. Also because, I mean, it's not like we weren't going to, like, a check on them before they didn't come in, obviously. Okay. Do any of you have, uh, magical items on you? Trust me, there's no point in lying. Uh, how much magical items do I have on me? Uh, I have... Uh... Does my holy I... symbol count? Uh, it's not technically magic itself. Not technically magic. So. I am a magical item. Then would my gun not technically count as a magic item? What about my ale? The, the ale is magical. Uh, BB okay. is a magical item. BB, BB is magic. BB is magical, <laughs> but but warforged are all magic, and it's not like you. Can, uh, it's not like they got pockets. I have these thief gloves. <laughs> magic. They are magic. Uh, your your gun is technically not considered magic. Okay. My fizzleberry pop rock. Fizzleberry uh, pop rock is magic. This it is bloody, magic. It is. It, this oh, bloody shit. crossbow might be magical. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll give you a hint. It is. I've got a vial of dancing monkey juice that I never had. This random green potion. I don't know what it does. Uh, My... I have an Ebony locket, a T Rex action figure, a ring <laughs> of your entire bag. Yeah, uh, uh, all of uh, all of your trinkets are magical, right? <laughs> I have a squishy coin. I have a mummified <laughs> arm. Coin. I have There's a fake a monocle. A uh, stick of scratchy scratch. I have uh, what else? A skull that screams. <laughs> no, it, oh yeah, it screams. It screams. I thought it doesn't bleed anymore. Wait, what, what'd you say, Crystal? My insomnia ale. Uh, insomnia ale is magic. Um. What about the fake monocle? Is that magic? Uh, fake monocle and the dinosaur are not magic. Okay, good. But the but the though. but the pipe is magic. The pipe that blows God bubbles. Damn it. All right, Nugget, tell them what magic stuff you have. Yeah, ma yeah, Nugget. And yeah, Nipple. Nipple, come on. Where's my pipe? It's gone. <laughs> it still have your pipe. Oh I've, no. I I've, I I did not erase your trinkets. If you if you don't have your pipe, just rewrite pipe. I know you have your bubble pipe. You mean that Fizzleberry Pop Rock is magic? Clothes naturally. I thought it was a pop rock. A rock that it, explodes. It comes from a plant, but like you have to do something to the plant to get it to pop like that. Mm. That's a very profound Nugget. pop. Nugget, your magic items. M Mr. Mr. Nugget? Is Chase not here? Oh, is he? Huh? If, is he talking, but we can't hear him? Maybe he's thinking really hard. Thinking real hard about, about a rhyme. Yeah. Wake I up! <laughs> he's I think he fell asleep. Mm. Oh no! Call, it, call his phone. <laughs> I, could, I could call his phone. I can. I can look. Yeah. What does he have in his? In he his has his axe, which is magic. With it, his axe is magic. Oh, his whole ass magic. Whole ass axe. Well, because of Ori, it's magic. So. Going in unarmed. Uh, let me see your characters. Nugget. What do you have? His phone is never on. <laughs> Did you just try calling him? Yeah, he oh. never has his phone on. He just he just fell asleep. It's got. Uh... <laughs> I mean, he went to go take a piss while we were talking yeah. and just didn't say anything. That's for his ex. It's only 10.30. Why would he fall asleep? There's no way he actually fell asleep. Yeah. Oh, he just went idle. Oh, oh wait. Wait, I saw it. It changed. Besides, the noise came from him. Besides for uh, besides for his axe, he doesn't have any other magical items on him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, he doesn't have the frost. Well, he doesn't have the frost blanket blanket that was lost to the sea. His weapons are magic. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just his axe. The Griffin Rider stuff, that's not magic. That's just a piece of paper now. <laughs> doesn't have his fishing license, which which was magical. The the stamp on it. Well the, wait, that doesn't have a stamp on it? it doesn't have it doesn't this have the stamp though. This isn't an official license then. Uh, it's a it's a phony. Well does, it's it like he does need those lessons. <laughs> See, he doesn't have anything else. Well, he has potions, but again, those don't really count. Uh, see, he doesn't got nothing. Yeah, he didn't even have to rhyme. Count? How uh, cheap. 
Your, your healing potions are an accepted item. Like they would look at them and uh, they would they would identify them as, like what they are and depend. Like healing potions are fine. You can keep them. Like you you could always. People are dumb and mistakes happen. You can hurt yourself. Like magic. Like healing potions. Uh, potions of like um like increased fortitude and most potions are okay if they're not if they're not outright like I'm gonna bring a bomb as a potion. Uh, they don't. They're not gonna. They're not gonna say anything. I about got it. this potion here. I call it Boom Boom Juice. Yeah, it's like, uh. Uh, what? Um, whoever, if you do have uh the Insomnia, Eel, they will be keeping that though, at least until they're they're gonna keep it. Because this is this is not a common thing that you would just find. They want to. No. They're not gonna keep it forever. They just just drink it now, Chris. They, I might as well just drink it now. They they are going to hold on to it. Uh, and see what it does. Uh, just to make sure it is not dangerous. It doesn't that erase your memory, though? It Why does. would you drink that? I'm not gonna fucking drink it. They got magic for this. No, I'm saying, why would Crystal Tell drink you. it? Why would well, they don't it? steal the ale? They don't. <laughs> you don't fucking they, won't remember. They anything. are. They are upstanding guards. They are not going to steal the ale. Okay. I'm through a fucking cavity search and shit. <laughs> Again, because some magic items can be very, very deadly. <laughs> like, like the harp that when you played it, when Gibby said not to, fucking exploded. Yeah, well, you know, we all came out of that pretty all right. Uh, Elty it, died. Elty did die. <laughs> well, I did die. Yeah, but it's uh, not the first. Thank goodness he's a necromancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just rest bring myself up. back and, to and life. So they, so they take uh, all of your magic items, and they, they, they have this whole process where someone comes, and they, and they inspect them, make sure that like, none of them are deadly, and they start handing uh, the Jonesy most of your trinkets back right quick, because again, none of them are none of them are deadly. They see like the the bubble pipe and how it doesn't... You, you just smoke and then blow bubbles. Um, and they're like, that's fun. That's a cute toy. And they even ask where you get it. Along with some of these other trinkets. They're from Gibby's. It's a secret. I'm like, ah, yes, of course. I'm... Ah, I'm not like, I wanted to have any cool items to give to the kids. Ah, yes. I... Kids. Of course Find I... your own baubles. I mean, of course I have kids. Come on. Think I'm not a slayer? Gosh. Some people. Uh, and, and yeah, he they yeah, just because they... he slayed that pussy. Slayed, slayed the pussy. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, and eventually, then I disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, and, he, it, and they hand you uh, all back your items. Um, they they even uh j just because uh you all are on our guests currently, a nugget is given his his axe back. Do I get back my gloves of thievery? <laughs> um, they do see that these are gloves of thievery and. They, they hand them. They know what they are. Because They're they pink, have, like glow. They, because they have stuff like identifying of does. Magic magicians to see what all of the magic shit does. I use that for magic shows. Uh, and they and they I st <laughs> and they hand it back. But uh, as are handing Thank it back, you. and they uh, you're holding, you're both holding holding on to it. Because I do implore you though that do not wear these around. In any of the shops, want to just wear them outside as an accessory. I won't harass you for them, but if you are them. If you're caught wearing them while in one of the shops, then if somebody catches you stealing or whatnot, you could be punished. I, this is not a threat. I just want to give you fair warning. Uh huh. Hey. I'll Don't take it. Ass, dude. Get it. Be my mom. <laughs> What are you, my freaking mom, dude? And he, and he, Shut up! And, and he, Acting like I've stolen stuff with these gloves. These gloves of thieving. <laughs> well, again, they just... It was a gift from a friend. Well, again, he doesn't steal? know... I made these myself. <laughs> like, he doesn't know what they you plan really to use that. them for, like, why you would have them. He's gonna let it... He's, he, like, your honor guest, he's just like, hey, wear them. Please don't wear them inside, like... I don't. Want... I use them for opening lock doors, not for <laughs> opening for doors. He's a lock. lock. Come on. He's a locksmith. Give him a fucking break. Yeah. Um. It's his profession. But, uh, they do. They do. Whoever uh see see the ale, they, they do ask you about it. Crystal, Sami ale. 
Oh, where'd you get it? Hold on, and it's like, who's uh, who did the the alcohol belong to? This is a uh, not a not a brew that you could buy in any establishment I know. Whose brew is this? This is a very nice old couple outside of town that we we did a job for. Mm. They brewed it themselves, and I asked if I could have some. And <laughs> why? <laughs> Well, why was the couple brewing beer with magic, and especially, it's not even coming up for, like, what kind of magic it is. It's like, it's multiple schools. I have no idea why they would make it or how they made it. I don't really know much about magic. Have, uh, have you tested it? Does anyone... Taken of the ale. Yeah, the small angry one. I don't see any angry one, but I just see I see a small one. Yeah. You drink it, and then uh, it was like out for for the until like the next morning. Hmm. And then we need to look it up. We'd forgotten everything that happened uh, the That's... day before. Uh With this information. In mind, seeing as we don't want an incident where somebody passes out and can't remember anything the next day, um, we have a have a a, a bit of a lockbox uh in the walls here for, for items that we uh, deem a little more dangerous than others. I understand that we letting you keep your weapons, but just that you will. We can see when you draw your blade. It's a bit hard to tell when you spiked a drink with something like this, you know? Mm, no, I, co I completely understand. So, I just want to give you a heads up that um, this will be returned to you in full when you are uh, when you are leaving the upper district. Um, the, you will have two guards escorting you and uh, walk around. And just to not be frightened, obviously. Uh, if you could... It, would you mind if we looked more into the ale, or if you if you do not wish again, we could always just it would require us to take samples, and you'd probably lose a bit of it if we could like learn about it, and in the off chance that maybe it pops up later. Mm. You know what? Say no again. You it's it is your it is your property. As a steam guest, we don't wish to. What you say? I haven't found a use for it yet. I've just kind of been holding on to them kind of hoping that the time to use them would come up and I would see it and I'd be like, wait, my insomnia ale. But I mean, if you want to do a little something to it. I, we are just asking as a formality again, if you wish not to have your items tampered with or like examined, then it is isn't entirely within your right as it's your property. You just leave me one bottle at least. We're not going to, not going to drain the whole bottle unless I we only need, really need a few samples to really tell what it is and the effects and the certain schools of magic that are in play here. Yeah, that sounds fine. All right, I just I thank you for your cooperation. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. You all are good. Yeah. Uh, queen, though it is late in the day, likes to give speeches when the uh, sun isn't as high in the sky as you can probably tell. Is the heat would really get to her? Being a uh, so, the, ah, uh, where was it? Uh, the guard, uh, the two escorting you are, I believe the name is, uh, uh, Brian and Stewie. One's escorting you today. Uh, again. Brian. <laughs> yeah. Brian. Yeah, he, he says, cool whip. Brian. Cool whip. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and, and you see, and as soon as he says it, there's two guards, and they, like, they, they give you they give all of you like a nod. Um, and I do wish you enjoy your stay in the upper district. While you are here as honored guests of the Queen, uh, feel free to peruse any of the shops after the Queen has given her speech. Who knows, maybe she'll even invite you back to the castle if you're lucky. Exciting. Alright, wait, where are we gonna find the Queen? Uh, oh, I don't remember where she's. I think it's. There was. Uh, Traitors amongst us that we found recently. And That's what we got Paul and Brian and Stewie for. 
Uh, there's going to be a bit of uh, an example put for traitors within the portal. Uh, they've been giving secrets away, and we can't have that happening, can we? Uh, I, I supposedly the speech is happening before. Or the, the traitors are dealt with. Okay. So please, uh, and then Brian and Stewart just are there. And, uh, they they walk forward and they're just like, please, so please go with them and feel free to to uh, follow them to where you should be. And after that, they will just they will walk behind and you peruse the shopping and well, I uh, really hope you enjoy your time here. And, and then the shop. There are shops again. We, uh, as the guests, we, we do not want you to miss the speeches. You are the people who are being commemorated, killing the dissolver. So you will be escorted to where the speech is taking place, and then after that, you're free to you're free to shop to your heart's content. So you know the the uh, shops do close by midnight here in the upper district, unlike in the mezzo and the nether, where they could be open up to the discretion of the individual. Bit more of a type shop up here, as people would like to go to bed after midnight. What time is it now? Uh, midnight. It's midnight, okay. actually. Uh, no, it's uh, it's about like uh, it's about six, seven in the afternoon. Oh. Still pretty early. Yeah, it's still early. Oh shit. Like, like she wanted to do it early enough that, you know, like that would people would be here to see it, but late enough that sun wouldn't be directly overhead. And and obviously, she was she put in the thought that you know, she would like to make sure you have enough time to shop and peruse all of the the valuables in the upper district. Is, you know, if you all have been here before, so. I've been here before. Well, yeah, but how would she know that? <laughs> None of us have been, so who cares if you have? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Brian and, Brian and Stewie are just like, "Are you? Are you guys uh ready? Ready to go? Yeah, is ready to go?" A moment, Brian. I need to think. <laughs> gotcha. I, don't, I don't remember. I'm gonna shoot him. So. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Brian, Brian, are you all ready to go? You're gonna be walking. Brian's gonna get like trampled by mom. Oh no, Brian's Brian, dead. Brian's dead. Oh no, Brian. <laughs> Brian, how could you? How could you die on me, Brian? <laughs> what? Do you got my money, Brian? Uh, so what? So we're going to see the queen now, or are we do we uh, were able to go are, and shop? You are you are to see. They're they're ready if you. They want to know if you're ready to go. All I mean, right. Equipment packed and. I'm ready to go. To see yeah, you. let's go. Okay, you all uh, walk around, and this place is fucking immaculate. You're looking around. This place is pristine, uh, and notably, uh, the mezzo. There are guards walking around in like patrols. That, again, they want to like make sure that. If crimes do happen, that they could catch them, or if anybody has a complaint, or like they get injured again, they like wrap up the bandages and all. Uh, up here in the upper district, uh, they don't have like much roaming guards. They have they have more like many guard stations, like where many guards are like keeping watch. Uh, you can't go like more than like forty steps without there being like a like another guard, like you know between like the shops basically. Uh, just really make sure to like keep like uh make sure that like you know they trust everyone up here but you always got to make sure that like security is good because you don't know whenever anybody might want to do something or if somebody's not who they say they are so they just like to make sure that everything's real nice real like upheld up here in the upper district so to get a get away with crime is a bit more difficult here Why would Steal that out. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, Ryan. Why would people want to do why, crime? Why would anyone want to do crime? That's for... That's for criminals. For criminals? Why would you want to do criminals? Only yeah. criminals do crime. 
Uh, and and you're you're walking. Uh, you're just looking at all the shops. Uh, you not notably you do see uh see the shop that the the shop of magical reagents. Is that one of the shops that you notice as you're passing by? See Gibby's store. <laughs> no way. He <laughs> also had a store of you. Uh, and, and you're walking, and eventually, uh, there is there is a large crowd. Um, th there is a significantly large crowd. Like a lot of the people are gathered. You see, there are people walking around. It is not as hustle and bustle as uh, as the mezzo or the nether. Uh, but they said that there was going to be this public execution or something? Yeah. The traders found giving out, like, uh, secrets. So, um, many people have come to, like, or have been forced to, like, come bear witness or come by it's choice. Agonar. <laughs> it's Agonar. Oh, basically. thank God. Uh, Agonar's being but, executed. But even while walking around, and, like, there's still quite a bit of people, but it's not shoulder to shoulder. You're bumping in, you're hearing everybody else's conversation. You can kind of have, like, a conversation yourself. You can walk around like and enjoy your personal space up here in the upper district. The uh, it's nothing like the Nether and the Mezzo. Uh, notably, notably, uh, once once you're like uh, getting close to the crowd, uh, the crowd sees the guards coming, um, and just like, uh, and they start like making a path basically, uh, and you all just like follow in right behind the guards. Eventually, after. After a good maybe like forty seconds of walking through this large crowd, um, there is seats that you're starting to see, large benches for the nice benches, mind it. Uh, as, as this isn't like a house or anything, so like they like it's the best equipment, but like there's at least padding on the seats for your for your nice tushies everywhere for the people that get to sit down. And there's even like a distance between where these people are sitting and where the others are standing. Social distancing. <laughs> well, it's just that these people paid for these seats. They paid to be Damn. here. Damn. So. Uh, can we pay for stones? Is there a stone vendor? So we can throw the stones that, at the person? You know what, Ryan? I didn't think about it, but just well, for you. Throwing tomatoes and shit. Yeah, but there's a, there's a rotten stone vendor. <laughs> he sells rotten <laughs> stones. What is, what is a rotten stone? Buy if you and find out. All right, I'll I'll approach and I will say, oh, ah, good day, sir. Those are very interesting. What 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 are these? Are you looking to purchase some rotten stones? Are you? Rotten stones? I've never heard of such a thing. What what is what is the rotten stone? Oh, you see, good sir, a rotten stone is something that uh, that me cocked up in the basement when me and my ma lived together. It's a your cocked did what? It's a, it's like uh. It's like a tomato when you throw it, it's squishy, but uh, if the person you throw it at is a... Uh, it uh, it makes them real sick. If they get hit with too many of them. Usually reserved for, for stuff like this, the little ex... Uh, when uh, the strangers found that the executions have to be done, and well, it's not like they're gonna live anyway, so... Yeah, you're right about that. So they, they hit like a rock and they smash like a tomato. How much for a dozen? For a dozen? Hey, for, for a dozen rotten rocks for yourself, good sir. Well, considering you're so fine, just real dapper and just, just a genuinely chapper fella, I, I, I'll drop the price now for you. It'll be five gold pieces for a, for a dozen. Five for a dozen? That sounds like a deal. I'll take it. Hey, you paying five gold? Five rotten rocks. Any, any of the other lookers... Uh, uh, interested Wait, in he gave me how many? Twelve? Yeah, twelve. Hell yeah. They they are rotten, and they will get they will get worse and become more mushy if you keep them though. So eventually they will go bad, Ryan. All right, I'll you keep have, that in mind. You have, you have about uh, I will say you have three days. Oh, hold on, like to use these before they all right, before all they right. are, become mushy and you can't throw them anymore. And he's like. Any of you are the real looker is re uh, interested in buying some rotten rocks. I know your buddy there got 12, but I mean, the more the merrier. I mean, come on, why not splurge and throw a few of the rotten rocks around? Yeah. What? Man, it's been a while since I've been to a stoning. I'm excited. I feel like a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to a stoning. 
been to a stoning. But you, the <laughs> wow, you 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 look a lot like uh, you look like a lot like the queenie. Same blood, eh? Uh, it's kind of racist. All dragonborn look the same. Wait, the queen is a dragonborn? I didn't know that. He's a dragonborn. <laughs> you know. I'll take one of his rocks oh, and throw it at no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not. I'm not saying that you all look the same. I'm saying that you have a you have a striking resemblance to her. Uh, just if, N if Nugget was here, he would race this. I'm just yeah. saying, you guys commit most of the crimes out of every other race. <laughs> <laughs> so that statistically, statistically, <laughs> you two we have a reason to racially profile. Statistically, you. <laughs> black dragonborns are the ones most likely to end up in jail. I mean, the dollar was the black dragonborn. <laughs> he was a black dragonborn. Absolutely a black dragonborn. Statistically, wow. there's only been one dissolver, and he was a black dragonborn. Fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, that's a that's a hell of a that's a. Uh, I I almost mistook you for the queen, except for the armor that you're wearing. Not as nice as hers. Yeah. Can be you her know, body double. I, the queen I, wear armor. I that's stupid. Armor off of a a very nice friend. Well. Uh, well, uh, are, are you and the cobalt here? Maybe the maybe the warforge looking to buy the rotten rocks. I maybe I my... maybe our mute friend here will buy some rocks. <laughs> you say, Crystal. Oh. I have my own rock right here, and I will pat Nugget, who can't respond, so he can't deny it. I'm stealing all his stuff. He's yeah, just he can't deny it. Drooling. He's just drooling on the ground. Yeah, right but, I, but I don't think you can rightfully throw him, or at least it'd be a little difficult. When there's a will, there's a way. You know, you know what I do. I, I mean, she's him. like ten feet tall. I buff him and then I throw him into combat, and mm. he tanks for me. Mm. I sit in the back, and he takes the hits. Ah, okay. A little bit like the. Uh... A little bit like he's the punching bag. Oh, I get it. Yeah, someone, exactly. someone, someone's got to be the brains of the operation. And well, I mean, look, can't even talk. He's kind of drooling a little bit right now too. Perfect, perfect warrior. He's, he's, dead. he's not even blinking. <laughs> yeah. per perfect There's warrior. There's flies fly around his head. Perfect warrior. Yeah, one flies me. in his mouth and then yeah. flies out. <laughs> I think he's been rhyming for too long. It's really getting to him. You really I think that. he said fuck once and his brain just exploded. <laughs> There's a fly. It's it's crawling on his eyeball. <laughs> his open <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> like, Nugget, it's time to sit down. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Nugget, yes, that Nugget. didn't rhyme. <laughs> Nugget, you take 2D <laughs> <damage>. <laughs> uh, He's like, oh, you know. I, I well, if you, I, I was really hoping that you guys would buy some rotten rocks, but uh, maybe when you see how fun it is when you when you when your handsome friend over there starts throwing him. Yeah, yeah. Now I feel bad. How Ooh. much for another dozen? Oh, I don't want to rip you off now, but if you did want to buy another twelve, it would be another five gold for you. I'll take it. Uh, well, all right then. Five, 24 another, rotten rocks. So, 24 like, rotten all rocks. you can do with these are just throw them? Basically, uh, he throws them, uh, and if you hit someone, uh, if you hit someone with three of these, they have to make a, uh, constitution save and throw, which the DC is 17. Or, well, or become That's poisoned, really fucking high. Or, or become Wait. poisoned 24 hours. Oh, who cares about being poisoned? Everything's immune to being poisoned. <laughs> I'm not. Well, it's a good thing you have the rocks then. Yeah, I can. I can make them worse if you like. You're gonna well, like be, not worse as, as in like worse, worse, but like better, worse. You know, like the, make the effect a bit worse than that, and just be poisoned. I mean, do they stink? Uh, they make you stinky. Uh, holding <laughs> holding them in your hands, you can't smell them, and like just trying to give them like a general like squeeze. They are like a little tough. You can feel the give. But it is, it is like a very rocky, like, it keeps like all the stink and the smell in. You don't, there's no smell coming off of them. But he did say that in three days time, they will turn mushy and then they'd start to stink. Hmm, alright. So right, right now they're, they're, 
right now they're basically like preserved in like the little capsule but with enough force like you could crack it open if you just like really like squeezed it hard you'd crack it open then it would smell yeah you know who would enjoy this nugget let's feed it to him <laughs> yeah, if you, it. he likes rocks yeah, he, he likes yeah, rocks. If you eat it the dc uh, you, you instantly failed the dc we're, we're watching these execution and nuggets vomiting <laughs> it's okay nugget like, rubbing his back It'll be okay the person that's talking about there's like what you've never been to an execution before <laughs> like you just ate some really bad rocks <laughs> uh and uh, essentially the the two uh once you carried nugget over there mindless husk of nugget what happened to Jake? Yeah, what happened? You walk over there, and off. you are actually in like the very. Uh, no nothing happens at first. Essentially, uh, a. I can say a theme song, like a tune is played for the when the queen is arriving. What what is the queen? Yeah, what is the queen's theme song? <laughs> Uh, it's the sweet life of Zack and yeah, Cody. Oh, <laughs> he said white crystal. No, 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 no. I, I know exactly. Oh, what is it called? Um, this is the song that's just playing. <laughs> Wow, yeah, there you go. What is it? Come on. Hey, what's going on? Her theme song's playing. Wait, why is she back? No. Nope. No, Chase is still a mindless husk right now. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Infinite's theme song. There you go. This is the Queen's theme song. I right, played four seconds of it so I don't get copyrighted and this doesn't get muted. Is she coming out? And this is the song that's playing? Yeah, sure. I'll allow it. But if you're gonna go for that, why would, why would you not do Shadows theme? <laughs> why does she have a fucking WWE fucking wrestler intro? Cause why is she's this the not her fucking, theme? Cause she's the fucking queen, Brian. She comes out, she's like high fiving everyone like in the crowd and and doing like yeah, cheers she, and no. stuff. <laughs> I put on she one takes of... off her armor and she's ripped as fuck. I put on one of the she's two. Like the execution is she grabs the head and pulls it off. Turns out the the execution like like place it's a ring. <laughs> it's like a I, wrestling. I ring. feel like I feel like if I put one of the bards tunes on that would imply something that I don't want it to imply. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put it on anyways. Is you guys get the you guys? Do you want the tuba or the accordion? Um. <laughs> The violin. Really? You want know, the violin? Yeah. The, oh, the give tuba. us that nice I combat music. Wait, would you say well? I heard tuba. Yeah, yeah, the, there's, yeah, there's the tuba warrior, then the accordion. Give us an accordion music for the queen. Alright. Uh, accordion. Oops. Not the other one. There you go. There's the... There's the there's the accordion one. Doesn't really sound like an accordion yet, but it'll get there. This sounds so ominous. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. not it's the not like queen. she it's not like she appears very often. I was gonna get one because there were, there was a triangle warrior. I wanted I wanted somebody I wanted like a sick triangle song, someone that like played the triangle really well, but I couldn't find one. So if you have suggestions for like someone that plays the triangle. And just like it goes hard in the triangle. You know, I'm I'm open to suggestion. Wait, hold on. No, never mind. Yeah, later. I want to put it in for later. Yeah. Uh, and so you basically just hear these people, uh, like they hear this music start playing, uh, as as the, <laughs> as the crowd is getting excited, because uh, it, it's the queen after all. She's gotta have her own. She's gotta have her own theme song and everything, uh, and the people are real happy. The queen is the queen of uh, Lunar's Briar, not just Lunar's Briar. The Dragon Kingdom uh, has has brought much prosperity to the land that she has ruled over. 
Uh, so many people hold her in, in very high regard, especially for, like, all the things that she's done. And just basically, like, bringing wealth back. Or not wealth back to, but, like, bringing even more income for all, like, the people and even, like, a lot of the civilians that she's made their lives, like, personally better by, like, investing in a lot of the businesses here and even, like, uh, specifically, uh, I know you didn't ask, but the library that's down in the... The, the mezzo that's basically just like you it, you're free to read stuff in there whenever you want is actually funded was actually funded to be opened by the queen herself and like a lot of the books that are in there uh are can just be put in there that's why they have like their own like i want to be an author so like these are my book section so like people can get learned when they want and get learned on their own time exactly all, all about uh all about uh all about uh, making sure that people are well knowledgeable and like make sure that they they, they pay respects to the, the for the queen, as she as she wants good for her people. And uh, and eventually you hear soft tack of of razor sharp claws on wood as uh they figure who's uh not. In armor, I know that the guy said that you know Phalar says war armor and the queen, but she she looks very much so in uh she has like black robes on uh like very silk linen black robe. Uh, Doesn't wear shoes. Her. Uh, she's not wearing shoes. Black. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Oh. oh yeah! Whoa! Feet, you must be feet. so happy. <laughs> yeah, feet, you must be so happy. Feet. feet. Nipple would be happy too, and so would Germa. Nip God, if only Nipple was here. <laughs> what color dragonborn is she? What, what color she... feet are they? Uh, she... Uh, she looks exactly like Phelaris, right? So what do you think? <laughs> He's blue? What? <laughs> what? She's purple? There you go, you got it. She's a pink dragonborn. A pink dragonborn. dragonborn. With a huge, with with a massive erection. Oh, Ooh. With a, she's a pink dragonborn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like the one that I, the, the one I colored. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just took your, I just took your, uh, I just took your character. Your recolor. Wait, where's the picture? Oh, it, he's not gonna put. Well, he's not gonna post that one because it's got a fucking cock out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's it does. A, uh, but it. She specifically does not cover her head like the rest of her body. It ah. has these has these robes all over it. Uh, and looking at her, she just looks like a much older version of Phalaris. <laughs> and because I don't want to, I don't want to do this without Chase. Because spoilers, there might be a fight coming up. Oh God my! Who would have suspected? I gotta go to sleep. We soon. don't even yeah. get to hear like part of her speech. Uh, what the fuck is no. she? Her speech is. You're all a oh, bunch God, of idiots as she whips out two Tommy guns and starts mowing. Oh, them. now that would be fun. It was me the whole time. <laughs> yeah. was no explanation. I'm the dissolver. It was me the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I do, I do have a speech, but Tommy I don't want... black? I, I don't want Chase not to hear the speech that I wrote. Yeah, yeah, no. She, like, wipes you. off her face, and the, the silver comes off, and it's black underneath. <gasps> <laughs> She looks, and then she looks oh at the other dragonborn, God. and then all the other dragonborns start wiping their faces off, and they're all black. And then you guys turn and, and look at me, and then I wipe friends. off my silver. <laughs> and then we, and then Nugget takes off his head, and he's actually a black dragonborn. <laughs> We've all been black dragonborn. We're black dragonborn this whole time. We're all the dissolver. Finally, our plan has come into fruition. <laughs> It has begun! <laughs> so yeah, there you go.